Unit 1. Unit 1. Activity 2. 1. What did you say your name was? Carl. Carl Springer. 2. Where have you been? I haven't seen you for a long time. Not since we graduated from school, actually. Three. Here, try the salad. I know you like salad. I'm not hungry now. Maybe later. Four. What is your wife's name, please? I'm not married. Five. Do you still play golf every morning? Sure. You should play again. We made a good team. Six. Well, Mark, how are things in the insurance business? My name is Bill, and I teach elementary school. Unit 7. Unit 7. Activity 2. One. Did you find this restaurant in the guide? Yes. They list a lot of good places to eat. Two. The 900 nightclub looks interesting. Does the guide say what kind of music they have there? Three. Hey, the Spring Festival is this weekend. I love festivals. Will there be a parade? Four. I want to buy a new suit. According to the guide, Canal Clothing Boutique is very close to here. Five. General Hope was from this city, wasn't he? Uh-huh. There's a monument to him in Hope Park. Six. Can you find out if there's a basketball game tonight? Yeah. There's a phone number for the sports stadium in the guide. Unit 1. Activity 3. 1. Tim, I'd like you to meet my friend Tom. Nice to meet you. Was it Tom? T-O-M? It's Tom, but I spell it with an H. T-H-O-M. Two. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm a friend of Tim's. Lee, what a beautiful name. I had a friend named Lee. She spelled it L-E-I-G-H. I just spell my name L-E-E, -E, the normal, plain way. Three. John, this is my friend Katie. Nice to meet you, Kathy. It's Katie, with just a T in the middle. No, T-H. K-A-T-I-E. Four. Tim, this is my neighbor, Robert. Hey, Rob. Great to meet you. Please don't call me Rob. You can call me Robert or Bob, but not Rob. Unit 7. Activity 3. Example. Watch. Ch. We can watch the game. Wash. Sh. They should wash the streets. Unit 7. Activity 3. Part 1. 1. Wish. 2. Witch. 3. Catch. 4. Cash. 5. Chair. 6. Share. 
Unit 7, Activity 3, Part 2. 1. Are you going to the concert tonight? I wish I could. It's sold out. I wish you could, too. It's going to be awesome. 2. I saw them tearing down the monument yesterday. It was really cool. They tore down a monument? Which one? Which one? That old, ugly one of the general. 3. Can you tell me how to get to Elite Fashion Boutique? Sure. The number 5 bus goes there. You can catch it on the corner. Catch the number 5 bus on the corner. Okay, thanks. 4. Hey, lend me some cash, will you? I'm all out. You're always out of cash. How much do you need this time? Just ten bucks. I want to take a cab home. Five. I'm so tired from walking around all day. You need to sit down. Take my chair. Thank you. This is a very comfortable chair. Six. Mmm, this hamburger is great. It does look good. Share it with me. Nah, I don't like to share. Order your own hamburger. Unit 1, Activity 4. 1. Tom, I'd like you to meet Patty Gomez, Dr. Patty Gomez. Nice to meet you, Dr. Gomez. You know, I have this pain in my shoulder, and I... Oh, I'm not that kind of a doctor. I have a doctorate degree in mathematics. Oh, I see. A doctor of mathematics, not a medical doctor. Two. Mark, this is my neighbor, Osamu. He's a computer programmer. How did you decide to become a computer programmer? Well... I really wanted to be an actor and have my own TV program. But I thought computer programming was more practical. Yeah, and more boring. I'd love to be on TV. 3. Lee, this is my friend Tim. He's a teacher. A teacher? I've always wanted to be a teacher. I love little children. I don't. I teach adults. Well, nice talking to you. Four. Jack, do you know Lucy? She's a good friend of mine. It's nice to meet you, Lucy. What kind of work do you do? I write. I write for in-flight magazines. You mean you're a pilot? You fly airplanes? No, I'm a writer. I write articles. Unit 7, Activity 4 1. I want to get some postcards to send to my folks. There's a souvenir shop a few blocks away. We'll walk over after we finish shopping here. Walk? You've got to be kidding. My feet are killing me. Okay, okay. We'll take a cab. 2. Walk? With all these bags? It's only two blocks to the museum. Let's just take the car. I don't want to carry all this stuff. Okay, we'll drive. But I hope you can find a parking space. Three. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the shopping district? It's pretty far from here. You'd better take a cab. I can't take a cab. I need to save all my cash to buy clothes. Well then, catch the number 10 bus. It leaves from the next corner. 4. Why don't we walk through the park and look at the various monuments? Maybe we can rent bikes. 
We'd see more statues. No, let's walk. Then we won't have to worry about the bikes. Okay, but we'd see more riding. Unit One, Activity Five. One. Mary, this is my friend George. He lives next door. Hi, George. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, no. I don't think so. Sure, I see you on the bus every morning. I don't think you do. I don't even live around here. I thought you lived next door. Uh, well, I used to. I used to live next door. I'm sure I've seen you before. Was it the gym? I gotta go now. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Two. Well, it's been very nice talking to you, but I、uh, I have to. I really enjoy talking to you too. Are you hungry? Let's get something to eat. Oh no, thank you. I'm not hungry. In fact, I really must be. You sit still. I'll get it. I really don't want. I'll pick out something really delicious for you. Be right back. Not too much. Three. Sam, I want you to meet Dora. She's a really good dancer. Hi, Sam. Do you want to dance? No, thank you. I'm not a good dancer at all. I prefer to just talk. Excuse me. This music is so loud. I can't hear you. I said I like talking. Walking? You want to go for a walk? Talking. I like to talk, conversation. Never mind. Let's dance. Four. Who's that good-looking guy over there? You mean that tall guy? He's a friend of George's, I think. Do you want to meet him? Yeah. You know him? Will you introduce me? How can I do that? I don't know him. Oh well. What am I supposed to do? Just talk to you all night? Oh, thanks a lot. If you want to talk to him, just go introduce yourself. Unit Seven, Activity Five. One. Tired of taking a sightseeing bus to the attractions? Even more tired of walking to them? If you rent a car from Car Rent, you'll see more and spend less. For only nine dollars and ninety-five cents a day—that's right, only nine ninety-five—you can tour on your own. Don't be dependent on a tour company schedule. Make your own. Two. City Tour Company has tours to fit everyone's needs. We have the historic tour for eighteen dollars. The nightclub tour for twenty-three dollars, and the half-day museum tour for only twenty dollars. This month only, you can take advantage of our spring special. Buy one tour, get the second tour at half price, or buy two and get the third for free. Call now to reserve your tours. Three. Our very own Center City Theater is proud to present its new musical production, Dogs. The show runs the entire month of February, from the first through the twenty-eighth. Tickets go on sale tomorrow and are available at fifty-five dollars for orchestra seats and only forty-five dollars for balcony seats. Call three two four three eight nine seven to order your tickets. That's three two four three eight. Nine seven. Unit one, activity six. Example. When did you talk to Bill? When do you talk to Bill? One. Where did you go last night? Two. Where do you go get your hair cut? Three. What time do you get home? Four. How did you get to the party? 
Five. What time do you go to school? Six. Where did you live? Unit seven, activity six. One. I'm glad we saw that. Listen, I went with you to the soldiers' monument. Did I complain? Not too much. You have to admit it was better than this exhibit. It's hard to imagine, but you're right. This exhibit was pretty dull. The best thing we did was that nightclub tour. That was fantastic. Let's do it again tonight. Okay, but this time, don't drink so much. You embarrass me. Two. This lunch was the best. I love French food. It was delicious. No wonder this city is famous for its restaurants. So, what do you want to do now? Visit another park? Are you kidding? That park we went to this morning was awful. Yeah, all the parks in the city are dirty, aren't they? But I really enjoyed those old buildings we saw yesterday. They were very nice, but nothing beats this French restaurant. Three. I have to say I'm really disappointed with the stores here. Yeah, I don't know why everyone told us to buy clothes. These stores have nothing. At least the souvenir shopping has been good. Uh huh. We've bought plenty of presents for everyone at home. Say, do you want to go to another baseball game tonight? Sure. That game last night was really fun. That's the best thing we've done here. Four. Pizza, spaghetti, cappuccino. This neighborhood has great food. Yeah, Little Italy's the best. I could stay here all day. Really? I thought you wanted to go back to Japan Town. Oh, ha ha! You hated that neighborhood too. There was nothing going on there. Well, it's really small. Chinatown was a bit more interesting. Yeah, at least Chinatown had a few interesting stores. Unit One, Activity Seven. One, A. He spells his name T O M. B. He spells his name T I N. C. He spells his name T I M. Two. A. He's making an introduction. B. He's reading a book. C. He's preparing the food. Three. Is your name Will? A. No, it's Bill with a B. B. Nice to meet you, Will. C. Will you meet my friend? Four. This is Bob. He's a teacher. A. I spell my name with a T. B. That sounds like an interesting job. C. That's a nice T-shirt. Five. George, this is my friend Jane. She's a pilot. You're a pilot? That sounds interesting. It is. What do you do, George? I'm a doctor, but I'm studying law now. Can't make up your mind, eh? What kind of work does Jane do? Six. This party's so boring. I'm ready to leave. When did you get here? It seems like hours ago, around nine, I think. Do you need a ride home? I have my car. Thanks. I came by bus, but I don't want to go home that way. When did she get to the party? Unit Seven, 
Activity seven. One. A. She's catching a cab. B. She's paying her taxes. C. She's cashing a check. Two. A. They're buying souvenirs. B. They're entering a museum. C. They're arranging a concert. Three. How much is a ticket? A. It's on the fifteenth. B. It's fifteen dollars. C. It's for fifteen people. Four. When's the concert? A. It's at the theater. B. It's about thirty-five dollars. C. It's on March fifth. Five. Do you want to go shopping this afternoon? Yes, but I'm all out of cash. Let's window shop then. That's free. Window shopping? How can I look and not buy? What do you want to do then? Sit in the park all day? Great. We'll do that. What will they do? Six. Hand me that city guide, would you? Here. What are you looking for? The name of that restaurant on Sixth Street we saw last night. Is it the Museum Cafe? Yes, that's the one, right next to the art gallery. What is he looking for? Unit two. Unit two, activity two. One. Jane is Mark's sister. Two. Tim is a friend of Mark. Three. Jane is Matt's cousin. Four. Gwen is Matt's wife. Five. Rod is Gwen's husband. Six. Bill is Gwen's son. Seven. Mark is Rod's cousin. Eight. Max is Jane's father. Unit eight. Unit eight. Activity two. One. What's important to me is a sense of humor. I agree. I like people who are smart and funny. Two. He plays tennis. Great. So do I. You also have golf in common. You are both big sports fans. Three. I hope she's into movies. Yes, that's important. You're such a movie fan. Four. Is he tall? I hope he's tall. Yes, he is. Don't worry. I know you like guys who are tall and good-looking. Five. Should I invite her to a concert? Yes. She loves music, just like you. You two will get along great. Six. He's so sweet. He sent me a dozen roses. You're such a romantic. It's good that he is too. Unit two, activity three. One. Hi, Grandpa. I'm calling from work. I'm sorry I can't come for dinner today. Don't tell me you're having car trouble again. I've told you it's time to get a new one. No, Grandpa. My car is working fine, but I have to work today. Two. Uncle Joe. I'm really sorry, but I can't make it to your house tonight. I have guests. Guests? Well, bring them with you. We always have room at the table for more.
They just got here from out of town. I think they're tired and want to rest. Three. Grandma, I think I'd better stay home today. You're not sick, are you? Did you see a doctor? No, it's this snowstorm. I just don't want to go out in this storm and get stuck in the snow. Unit eight, activity three. One. He plays guitar. Yeah, he's in a heavy metal band. A musician. I can't wait to meet him. I bet he'll make a lot of money some day. Two. Come on, go out with him. You'll have a great time. He has a great sense of humor. I'm not going. The only thing funny about him is his looks. Be nice. Not everyone can be as good looking as you. Three. She's a musician, right? You know I'm really interested in music. I know you'll love her. She's a drummer in a rock band. A drummer? That's a great solo instrument. I wonder if she plays classical music. Four. So tell me more about this guy. Is he rich? Well, no, not rich. But he's really kind and romantic. He's handsome too. Not rich, huh? Well, as long as he's handsome, I guess it'll be fun to go out with him. Unit two, activity four. Example: fantastic, radishes. One. Sunday lunch together is a family tradition. Two. We eat in the afternoon and then take a walk. Three. My father shops on Saturday for our family dinner. Four. Every Sunday we get to see all of our relations. Five. It's not what I would call a wonderful time. Six. Even visitors from out of town are welcome. Seven. No excuses are allowed. Eight. My grandmother takes care of my sister's kids. Nine. I can't wait until tomorrow. Unit eight, activity four. Example. Oh, I really love the blues. Classical music's really awesome. One. There's a great heavy metal band playing downtown tonight. Do you want to go? Heavy metal? Yeah, that sounds like a great way to spend an evening. Two. I got tickets to that classical music concert. Would you like to go with me? Classical music? What a great idea! Three. Help me pick out some CDs for the party. Do you like rap music? Far out! Rap's so awesome. Four. I want to get a present for my boyfriend. What do you think of this jazz CD? Yeah, he'll really like that. Five. Do you want to hear my new CD? It's on the top of the country music charts. Ugh, country music's really awesome. Six. I want you to meet my cousin. She's a singer in a rock band. Rock music? Far out. Unit two, activity five. One. Jane, you're coming this afternoon, right? I never miss one of your meals, Pop. I forgot to buy radishes for the salad. Can you stop and get some radishes? Sure. Anything else? Cabbage, onions. Cabbage for a salad? No, thanks. Just radishes would be fine. 
Two. Aunt Betty, how's the dinner coming along? Fine. I baked some bread and had just enough flour left over to make a cake. A cake? Fantastic! Do you want me to pick up some more flour on my way over? No, I'm all done baking. But you could bring some flowers. All right. I'll stop at the flower shop and pick up some roses. Three. Hi, Pop. We're looking forward to seeing you this afternoon. Wonderful. Could you bring back that bowl you borrowed last time? The bowl? Wasn't it a big cooking pot? Isn't the cooking pot yours? No, the pot's your aunt Betty's. The bowl is mine. You still have it, don't you? Uh, yeah, sure, Pop. I'll bring it this afternoon, if I can find it. Four. Hi, dear. It's Aunt Betty. Listen, could you bring some forks when you come today? Okay, but are you sure that's what you need? Don't you have forks? Your cousin's invited several of his friends, and I just don't have enough for everyone. Do you need plates too? I could bring some plates. I have some paper plates, so I'll use those. Just bring forks. Unit Eight, Activity Five. One. Music? Yes, I love music. Beethoven, Chopin, Tchaikovsky. My mother was a concert pianist, and I would listen to her practice day after day. So beautiful. Not like this ugly rock music, or even worse, that heavy metal garbage. Yes, I am a classical kind of guy. Two. Yeah, I like music. I listen to rock mostly, and some heavy metal. I like my music loud. Classical music? Now that puts me right to sleep. Jazz too. It's boring, but metal's okay. And rock's really awesome. Three. Music? Yeah, right. Like, who has time for music? Me, I'm always outside playing soccer or volleyball. Sports. That's what I like. A lot of my friends are into rock and jazz and metal, but not me. I'm into sweating. Four. Do I like music? I only have like the biggest CD collection of all my friends. I have all the heavy metal CDs ever made. I have a lot of rock music too. I have a few jazz CDs some friends gave me, but like jazz, that's so my parents, so yesterday, and classical, no way. Talk about ancient history, but rock and heavy metal, man, you should see all the CDs I have. Five, rock music, man. That's where it's at. I play in a rock band. Well, sort of. My friends and I get together on weekends and play. We know all the rock songs ever recorded. Well, a lot of them. We know some heavy metal too. I had a friend once who tried to get me to listen to blues and jazz, but rock is where it's at. Rock and metal. Six. Yes, music. It's very important in my life. Blues, jazz—they're great. I go to jazz concerts whenever I can. I listen to some classical too. You know what I really can't stand? Heavy metal. My ears can't take that heavy noise. Unit two, activity six. One. You go to your parents' house every weekend? Every Sunday afternoon at two, my father prepares a big feast for all of us. How many of you are there? Usually about fifteen. That's all my brothers and sisters, my aunts and uncles, and their children. Of course, my cousins and sometimes their friends. Our big Sunday dinner. Two. How many people are you expecting for Uncle Matt's birthday dinner? It's on a Thursday night, so not too many. Maybe eight or ten. That's a lot. Who'll be there?
Your brother's bringing his new wife, Gwen, and if his stepchildren come too, that'll be ten. Gwen's children won't come on a Thursday. They have school the next day. Well, you'll be there anyhow. It starts at eight. Don't be late. Three. What's this I hear about Cousin Jane changing our traditional Sunday dinner to Saturday? It looks like her brother-in-law invited her husband to go fishing on Sunday. Why does it have to be Sunday? Sunday's the fifth. It's the last day of the fishing season. They always go fishing on the last day of the season. So we have to have our dinner on Saturday. At least it's still at three thirty. Yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm always really hungry by half past three. Four. Don't forget your cousin's graduation dinner on Friday. Don't worry, I've already ordered the food. Hey, you don't think Harry'll come, do you? It's a family dinner, dear. Your sister's ex-husband is no longer family. Good, because I only ordered food for thirty people. He eats enough for an army. You told everyone to come at five thirty, didn't you? Yes, though I think five thirty is ridiculously early. It's the perfect time, and Friday is the perfect day. That gives us Saturday to clean up. Great, that's just how I want to spend my Saturday. Unit Eight, Activity Six. One. Do you remember the day we met? I still have that ball. You thought it was mine. You thought I had hit you on the head. It was my first day on the course. I still couldn't hit the ball straight. You hit it straight, straight up in the air, and it landed right on your own head. And you were so patient when I yelled at you. I thought it was your fault. I thought you were cute, not a good golfer, but cute and funny. Two. My mother didn't want me to go out with you at first. I can't exactly blame her. You only knew me by computer. But I learned a lot about you through our computer chats. I learned about you too. I could tell that you were smart and funny. And I guessed that you were tall and handsome. See, I knew you were smart. Three. The first time we met, you never wanted to see me again, did you? Well, you left a big bump on my head. I didn't mean to. My dog had run into the street. I was trying to catch it. And you didn't see me at first, did you? But that door hit me hard. Even with that bump on your head, I thought you were beautiful, and I caught my dog. You still love that dog more than me, don't you? Four. I fell in love with you because you're so sweet and patient. Really? You think I love you just because you understand computers? I knew just a little bit more than you did. I just wanted to talk to you. Well, you really helped me. That computer was giving me a hard time. Unit two, activity seven. One. A. She's holding a flower. B. She's buying some flour. C. She's scrubbing the floor. Two. A. He's washing the dishes. B. He's cooking the meal. C. He's setting the table. Three. Why can't you come to dinner today? A. I'll see you at three. B. I don't feel well. C. I can make the salad. Four. What day is the dinner? A. It's at four o'clock. B. It's next Sunday. C. 
It's on the table. 5. Is your cousin coming to dinner tonight? I don't know. Why don't you call him? I don't want to call him. I don't want to talk to him. Be nice to him. He's part of the family. Part of your family? Who are they talking about? 6. Are you coming to dinner next Friday? Friday? Don't we always do the dinner on Sunday at 4? Yes, but we're doing it on Friday this week at 5. I'll tell Mark. With Mark and Bill, there'll be 13 people. See you Friday at 5. What time is the dinner? Unit 8, Activity 7. 1. A. She's gulping water. B. She's swinging the club. C. She's playing golf. 2. A. He's really athletic. B. He's very old. C. He's too tall. 3. Are looks important to you? A. Look out the window first. B. Yes, I prefer handsome men. C. The important books are on the shelf. 4. My boyfriend gave me some roses. A. He's so romantic. B. I don't like big noses. C. Rock music's awesome. 5. Tell me about your new boyfriend. Is he athletic like you? No, he's not interested in sports, but that doesn't matter. Well, he must be handsome. I don't care about his looks. I like him because he's sweet and kind. What does she like about her boyfriend? 6. I want to get a CD for my girlfriend. What about this jazz CD? Jazz? Forget it. Okay. I'll get her this blues CD. Blues? Yeah, that's a great idea. Get some heavy metal. Heavy metal? Yeah, right. I think I'll go with jazz. Which CD will she buy? Review 2 Review 2, Activity 1 1 this place is nice. Yes, everything's so pretty. The dishes, the tablecloth, and I love the background music. The food's good, too. This is the most delicious chicken I've ever had. The only problem is the service. What do we wait? 35 minutes to get our meal? The service is a bit slow, but the waiter has been very nice. And the prices? $23 is a little high for a chicken dinner, don't you think? 2. Did you call the theater about the tickets? Yes. We can get some for the 15th, but they cost $50. $50 isn't so bad. I hear it's a great show. You know what'd be cheaper? We could just buy the CD. That's not the same as going to the theater and seeing it live. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's worth it. I hear it's a really funny show. I just hope they tell more than just those chicken-crossing-the-road jokes. 3. It's getting late, isn't it? What time is it? About a quarter after 12. Hey, watch out. Now look what you did. Oh, no. I spilled it all over the tablecloth. I'm afraid this will leave a big stain. I guess I'll just have to offer to pay the dry cleaner. 
It'll probably cost about twenty-five dollars or so. It's a handmade tablecloth. Twenty-five dollars. Well, if that's what it costs to clean it, I'll just have to pay it. Well, it's after twelve now. I think it's time to leave this party and go home. Four. This restaurant looks nice. Do you want to eat here? It looks expensive. Let's just get some fast food. Well, there's a chicken place across the road. Oh yeah. Look, they serve a dinner special from five to eight. A chicken dinner for five twenty-five. That's a great deal. Five twenty-five is my kind of price, and this is my kind of place. Cheap and fast. Unit three. Unit three. Activity two. One. You haven't changed a bit. Neither have you. You look exactly the same. Two. Wow! I didn't recognize you. You like my new hair color? Three. There's something about you that's different. Well, I lost twenty kilos. That's a big difference. Four. When did you get your hair cut? This morning. Big difference, huh? Five. You still wear sunglasses all the time, day and night, inside and outside. Six. You used to have a mustache, didn't you? Yes, but I shaved it off last month. I think I look better now, don't you? Review two, activity two. One. I wouldn't exactly say I'm athletic, but I still like sports. I don't play anything myself, but I like to go to a game and watch other people play. Soccer, volleyball, baseball—they're all interesting games to watch. Sports events can be really exciting. Going to a game can be a really fun thing to do on a date. Two. Most of my friends love going to clubs and dancing and listening to music, but I don't like loud music. I think it's better to go to a quieter place when you're on a date. Going to the theater is more my kind of thing. Three, the theater. Hmm. Well, I can't say it's one of my greater interests. I prefer music. I don't know. Watching a play can be really boring sometimes. I prefer a little more excitement, like a rock concert. I think someone who likes the theater could be a boring person. I think there are better places to go on a date. Four. A lot of people don't like art, but I'm not one of them. I don't think it's boring at all. Then some people say going to an art museum is a good thing to do alone, but I don't agree. I think if you take your date to an art museum, you can learn a lot about him, about his interests and tastes. I think it's a great way to have a date. Five. I have a lot of interests, and I count music and dancing among them. It's really important to me, and it's really important to date someone who shares those interests. So I have to say that going to a nightclub is certainly not a bad way to spend an evening with someone. It's a way to see if we share the same taste in music and dance and have a good time. Six. Eating is one of my favorite things to do, and I love sharing that with a date. Eating good food, I mean. Going to a fast food place on a date is certainly not romantic, but I love going to interesting restaurants and trying different kinds of food: Japanese, Brazilian. Yes, I think having dinner out is a great thing to do on a date. Unit three, activity three, example. 
What did you do? What do you do? What will you do? Unit 3, Activity 3, Part 1. 1. What did you do after high school? 2. So what do you do in your free time? 3. What will you do now? 4. What do you do now? Unit 3, Activity 3, Part 2, 1. What did you do after high school? I played in a band for a while. We played for dances around the country. Then what did you do? I started a recording company. Now I make music and money. 2. So, what do you do in your free time? I'm still playing soccer. What do you do? Nothing. Just hang around. Come to a match with me. You might get interested in the game. <laughs> 3. You lost your job at the laboratory? Oh, no. What will you do now? I think I'll just take a vacation. What will you do then? I'll worry about that later. 4. I haven't seen you in so long. What do you do now? I design chairs. What do you do? I sit on chairs. My best customer. Review 2. Activity 3. 1. A. He's eating steak. B. He sees a mistake. C. He's ordering cake. 2. A. They can see the orchestra. B. They're buying musical instruments. C. They're choosing CDs. 3. A. They're shopping for shoes. B. They're closing the window. C. They're trying on the coat. 4. A. He's as tall as she is. B. He's taller than he is. C. He's shorter than she is. 5. Where is the Japanese restaurant? A. They serve fish. B. It's on 3rd Street. C. The food is delicious. 6. Be careful. You're spilling your food. A. Oh no, it'll leave a stain. B. May I fill your glass? C. I already took my pill. 7. Can you lend me some cash? A. Catch the bus. B. Here's ten dollars. C. Watch out! You're going to crash. 8. Do you like music? A. Yes, looks are important. B. No, it's a mistake. C. Yes, especially jazz. 9. Have you seen the special exhibit at the art museum? No, but I want to see it before it ends. Well, hurry. February 21st is the last day. Hmm, it's 12 o'clock now.
Maybe I could go this afternoon. Don't forget to take some money. Admission is eight fifty. When does the exhibit end? Ten. Have you tried that new Chinese restaurant? Yes, it's nice. But there's an even better restaurant across the street. You mean the Mexican place? I haven't tried it. It's the best restaurant in town. It's even better than the Brazilian restaurant. Which is her favorite restaurant? Unit three, activity four. One. That guy loves to read. He always has his nose in a book. He's a real bookworm. He should get out and play sports or something. Two. How does she spend her time reading? No, she plays the piano, the violin, the trumpet. A the... real musician. I wish I were that talented. Three. He still plays a lot of sports. Yeah, he's really athletic. He never spent any time studying. Four. What an imagination that kid has! He's always painting and drawing things. He's very artistic. I wish I could draw. You're not creative. Face it. Five. She's really smart, isn't she? Really smart. She can solve any kind of problem: math, physics. Maybe if I read more, I'd be smart too. Unit three, activity five. One. Gerald is the guy who has lots of curly blonde hair, right? You mean had lots of curly blonde hair? All his hair is on his face now. If you can't have hair on your head, wear a beard. Maybe just a mustache would have been better. He was on the tennis team, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really athletic. Now he coaches his son's soccer team. Two. Is Betty still as thin as she was in high school? Yeah, though I don't know why. She just sits in front of a computer all day. The computer? I thought painting was her passion. Well, her real passion is money. I hope she gets it. She needs money to pay for her upkeep. You mean her rent? No, to keep her hair black and her face youthful. Three. Have you seen Alice? Is she still as cute as she was in high school? Well, she's not as skinny. She ought to do a little more exercise. What about that dark, dark hair? It's gray now. I remember she was always drawing in class. She's still really artistic, though she does all her art by computer now. She's always in front of her computer. All that sitting. Maybe that's why she's overweight. Yeah. Too bad she's not more athletic. Four. Is that Ralph over there, the guy with light hair and a mustache? Yes, that's him. He's really changed, hasn't he? Well, he was clean shaven in high school, but his hair was the same. It was blonde then. It's gray now, and look how overweight he is. He was really thin in high school, wasn't he? He played a lot of sports. He was athletic then. He was always on that snowboard. What does he do now? Just sits around watching soccer games on TV. Unit nine. Unit nine. Activity two. One. Do you think it'll be cold? Should I pack my winter coat? Let me see. It looks like it'll be warm this week. I think you just need a light jacket. Two.
I think we should get a hotel downtown. It'll be more convenient. It's better to stay downtown. I just hope we can find a place that's not too expensive. Three. It's fun and relaxing to be out on the ocean, but I want to see some cities too. Let's see. The seven-day cruise stops at five different cities. Four. Wouldn't you like to go out for a nice dinner before the concert? Sure, that sounds great. I'll check the guide to see what restaurants are near the theater. Five. Those plane tickets are expensive. Can't you find anything better? If we leave on Thursday and come back on Monday, we can get cheaper tickets. Six. Did you check the internet to see what's on at the theater? Yes, I checked. We could see that new play spoof. Unit three, activity six. One. So, how's Paul doing these days? He's fine. Still playing the guitar. He was playing in high school, wasn't he? Yeah. He should try to play professionally now. Well, his kids are grown up. He doesn't have to support them. Now that he's retired, he could use extra money. How much could he earn from playing a guitar? Two. Is it true that Hiroko won another trophy? She's a champion athlete. She should be. All she does all day is play sports. Well, why not? She's good at it. Because soon she's going to have to get serious and think about college and a career. She still has time. Let her enjoy herself while she's young. She's graduating from high school next month, and she still has no plans. Three. Have you heard from Eric recently? Yeah, he graduated from college and just got a job. You're kidding. Well, he must have cut his hair and taken off his earrings. No. He's still got the long hair and pierced ears, pierced nose, pierced everything. How could he get a serious job looking like that? Well, you know how smart he is. Several companies wanted to hire him. Wow! His first job. He must feel really proud of himself. Four. Did you hear about Patty's art show? Yeah. Isn't it great? She's finally gotten some recognition. She's been painting for years, hasn't she? Since she was a little girl. Yes, though she wasn't able to do much while her kids were growing up. Uh huh. And she was working at the same time. But now she's retired, and she can spend more time with her art. Too bad she couldn't have done it when she was younger. Unit nine, activity three. One. Check the internet to see if I'll need an umbrella. You won't on Tuesday, but on Wednesday there'll be rain all day. Rain on Wednesday? I hate traveling in the rain. Two. Don't forget to pack a warm coat and hat. Why? According to the internet, it'll be sunny on Monday, and four degrees isn't that cold. That's the high. Don't forget. It'll be below zero when we go out at night. Three. Look, it's going to be windy toward the end of the week. We can go sailing. Are you crazy? It'll be cloudy too. Windy and cloudy means cold. Ten degrees isn't that cold. Bring an extra sweater because we're going sailing on Thursday. Four. Did you check the internet? How does the weather look for the first day of our trip? Windy with some clouds and a high temperature of eleven. That's not so bad. It isn't. Some clouds mean some sun too. Tuesday will be a good day for sightseeing. Five. The internet weather site says rain on the first day of our trip. Cloudy with showers. Wouldn't you know it? I really wanted to go sightseeing on Sunday. We still can. Just bring a raincoat. Unit three, 
Activity 7 1. A. He hasn't changed a bit. B. He looks just the same. C. He no longer has any hair. 2. A. She's a young adult. B. She's in her teens. C. She's near retirement. 3. Rita is really athletic, isn't she? A. Yes, she's a very good soccer player. B. Yes, she's an excellent guitar player. C. Yes, she's always painting. 4. Does John still have a mustache? A. Yes, he's clean-shaven now. B. Yes, but it's gray now. C. Yes, he likes music. 5. Gloria has really changed since high school, hasn't she? Yes, she was really athletic then. But look how out of shape she is now. And her hair is so dark. It used to be blonde. What was Gloria like in high school? 6. Eric does really well in school, doesn't he? Yeah, he's really smart. He's on the soccer team, too. No, he isn't. He really isn't athletic at all. But he's in the school band. He plays several musical instruments. What kind of person is Eric? Unit 9, Activity 4 1. I typed in cruise and found ten cruise ships that look good to me. I hate cruises. Sitting around all the time, eating and talking. And smelling the sea air. That's what you like to do when you fish. Yes, but you smell fish with that sea air. That makes it more interesting. 2. Have you looked at the fishing trips on this site? We could have a great time together. Sure, but I don't like standing in rivers waiting for a fish. A hike might be nice. Oh, come on. There are some great fishing trips here. You can enjoy the scenery. You can enjoy the scenery hiking, too. Don't they list any hiking trips on that website? 3. Look at this great internet deal. Two nights in a downtown hotel, all meals, take a boat trip down the canal. But who wants to be in the middle of a city in such hot weather? You can relax in the cafes and watch the people go by. I'd rather relax on the beach and watch the people go by. Can't you find a great deal at the beach? 4. You wanted a completely relaxing vacation, right? What about a cruise? I like being near the water, but I always get seasick on the ocean. I don't think you'll feel sick on a cruise ship. It's so big. I think I'd prefer a lake. Don't they have any links there to lake vacation sites? 5. I did a search on deep sea fishing. Look at all these great trips we can take. Fishing on the ocean? I thought we were going to the beach. Well, the beach is next to the ocean, and fishing is more fun than just lying around. Lying around on the beach is wonderful. I just want to relax on my vacation. 6. Look at this great travel site. It lists all the best lake vacation resorts. Lake resorts? What can you do at a lake? Relax, enjoy the scenery, sit around. I thought we were going hiking. I want to take that hiking trip by the river. Unit 4 Unit 4 Activity 2
One. Did you get an email from your key pal in China? Yes, this morning. A letter would take a couple of weeks to get a reply. Two. It took only a week to get this letter from my pen pal in Korea. A week? Email would take only a minute. Three. I keep trying to send a message to my friend, but it keeps getting returned. Maybe you wrote the address wrong. You have to type email addresses exactly right. Four. Look, this letter I sent to my friend in Mexico got returned. Maybe you didn't use enough stamps. Five. I want to send you a letter. What's your address? It's five one five Main Street. Six. I need to send you something. What's your address? It's Robert at link dot com. Unit nine, activity five. Example: Mary wants to go hiking in the mountains. Mary wants to go hiking in the mountains. One. Susan found some cheap plane tickets online. Two. I made all our hotel reservations online. Three. We want to go fishing at the beach. Four. Tom and Lucy took their vacation at the beach. Five. You can find the best vacation deals at that website. Six. I got a really cheap ticket online. Unit four, activity three. One. When you send your email to your Turkish key pal, do you write in Turkish? I live in Brazil. I speak Portuguese, not Turkish. So you write in English, right? Two. I sent an email to my key pal in Spain today. Email's great. We can be here in Korea and communicate instantly with someone in Spain. Not so instantly. First, I had to write the letter in Spanish, and that took me all day. Three. Why are you taking that Chinese class for email? I have a key pal in China, and he doesn't understand Spanish. Wow, a guy in Mexico with a key pal in China—that's really cool. Four. What's in that envelope? It's a letter from my pen pal in Japan. We practice our English by writing to each other. So, how long did it take that letter to get to Thailand from Japan? Unit nine, activity six. One. I like the idea of a cruise because we don't have to find a hotel. But you wanted to stay in Miami for a few days after the cruise, didn't you? Yes. Well, can't you find something on the web? I'm looking. Okay, here's something in the right location with twin beds. Twin beds are fine, and I absolutely must have a TV in the room. Sorry, we can't pay extra for a TV. We spend all our money on those cruise tickets. Two. I went to the rent-a-car website and booked us a car. It was easy. You didn't get us one of those teeny compact cars, did you? No, but I did have a problem with the hotel room. What? Couldn't you get one where smoking is allowed? Yes, I got a smoking room, but I couldn't get the king-sized bed. Well, then we'll be a little crowded, I guess. But at least we can smoke there. Three. I did a search on cruises, and I think I found just what you wanted. Really? You found a cruise and hotel deal? Yes. We get two nights at a hotel after the cruise, a room with twin beds. Hmm, I don't like that. 
I wanted a nice, big, king-sized bed. Oh, don't worry about the bed. The price is right, and we get a TV. TV? Oh, great! I mean, like we'll watch TV. Four. Did you book the plane tickets? Yes, and I found some links to some sites that had great deals on hotels. So you got a non-smoking room, right? Of course, and a nice full-size bed, and we even get an extra. An extra what? An extra free night? An extra free theater ticket? What? An extra bed in the room? I don't know. Maybe we can use it for taking naps. Unit four, activity four. One. Hey Lee, how's it going? Everything here's well quiet. None of my friends are around. Don't know where they are. I've been watching a soccer game on TV, but even that's gotten boring. So, what have you been up to? I know you go out with your friends all the time, right? Hey, did you get the message I sent you? When was it? The day before yesterday. Did you get it? I'm waiting for your answer. Two. Hey, Jorge. What's going on, dude? We're all here at Cyberstop and wanted to send you a quick note to say hi. Hey, Jorge. This is Bill. Now you should be glad you're not here, man. It's snowing like crazy. I hate this cold. Me too. You remember me, right? It's Satoshi. We haven't sent you a wave file for how long's it been? Yesterday. Oh yeah, yesterday. Well, send us one, dude. I want to hear how you're doing. Three. Hi, Maya. I wish you could be here because I know how much you love soccer, and I'm watching a great game right now here at the cafe with my friends. It's really exciting. Have you seen any good games lately on TV or live? Okay, my friends are calling me back to the game. I just wanted to say hi because I know it's been a while since I sent you a message over a week. It was the week before last, wasn't it? Okay, hope to hear from you soon. Four. Marina, you won't believe where I was today, at the store helping my crazy friend Maria pick out a sofa. She can't make up her mind, and she wants me to go back to the store with her later on. So I need your expert advice. For a white living room, would you get a white sofa or a black one? I know I just emailed you this morning, but this is an emergency. Help. Unit nine, activity seven. One. A. They're hiking near the lake. B. They're fishing at the lake. C. They're swimming in the lake. Two. A. They have a double bed. B. They have a single bed. C. They have twin beds. Three. How's the weather at the beach? A. He's doing fine. B. It's warm and sunny. C. It's very cheap. Four. Did you book us a room? A. No, the books are in the room. B. I reserved a corner table. C. Yes, I got a great deal. Five. How did you find this fabulous hotel? I was just surfing the web, and I found some links to different sites. It's just amazing that you could find such a cheap place right downtown. You can find just about anything on the web. Where is the hotel?
Six. What does the weather look like for Sunday? It doesn't look good. Cloudy and windy. Cloudy, but not rainy, right? So we can still go out. Yeah, we can take a walk on the beach. We just won't be able to relax in the sun. What will the weather be on Sunday? Unit Four, Activity Five. One. Monica, what's your email address? Monica Lewis, all one word, at fav f a v dot net dot r u. Hyphen Lewis? No, just one word. Monica Lewis. Two. Don't forget to email me. Do you have my address? Yeah, it's Miss Millie Nine. That's the figure nine at link dot com. Right. Don't forget, Miss Millie is one word and all lowercase. And link dot com is all one word, right? No, it's link dot com. Three separate things. Three. Hey, did they give you an email account at school? Yep. So use it, okay? It's smart dot guy at state college dot edu. Is there a capital C and a capital S on state college too? No, no caps on state college, and it's written as one word. Four. Let's see if I have your address right. George dot Brown at esl dot net. Not dot underscore. George underscore Brown at esl underscore net. Dot net. George underscore Brown at esl dot net. Five. Here's my email address. Catlover at Camden dot edu. That's a funny address. Is it Camden? C A N D E N? No, Camden. C A M D E N. And Catlover is written as one word. Then it's just Catlover, not Cat dot Lover, right? Right. Six. Here's my new email address. Gwendolyn at reader dot org. Just let me write that down. Gwendolyn dot reader at org. No, Gwendolyn at reader dot org. How do you spell your name anyhow? With an I? No, a Y. G W E N D O L Y N. Unit ten. Unit ten. Activity two. One. Place your coats on the belt, please. Two. Would you prefer a window or an aisle seat? Three. Can you open your bag, please? Four. How many pieces would you like to check? Five. You can only bring one carry-on bag. Six. Remove any change from your pocket, please. Unit Four, Activity Six. One. Red hair, short. You can't describe what you really look like. Why not? It's dangerous. Never give details on the internet. Okay. How's this? I'm a tall blonde with glasses. But you wear glasses. Okay. In cyberspace, I'm a tall blonde without glasses. Two. Short, curly black hair, but your hair's straight as an arrow. Be patient. 
I'm going to the hairdresser next week. Maybe I'll get it curled. Well, I'm glad you're planning to leave it black. And see, I put that I'm short. That's true. You are, but your hair's not. It's long now, but maybe I'll cut it when I get the curls. Three. Let's see. How will I describe myself? Tall, with spiky brown hair. Brown hair? You don't have any hair. You're bald. I still have a little hair, and it's brown. Be honest. This is for your pen pal. Don't you want to tell the truth? I have some brown hair, and I'm tall. That's the truth. And my eyes are brown. I can't disagree with that. Four. Let's see. I have a beard. Would you say I'm good looking? Very. But you certainly don't have a beard. Maybe I will one day. I've always wanted to grow one. I don't think you should say you're tall. You're not really tall. Well, I'm not short. Okay, say what you want, but don't forget your beautiful blue eyes and blonde hair. Unit ten, activity three. Example. Z. The plane leaves at ten o'clock. S. John works from nine a.m. to five p.m. Is. My husband always kisses me goodbye at the gate. One. The security guard searches the luggage. Searches. Two. The flight arrives at a quarter to nine. Arrives. Three. My wife always waits for me at the gate. Waits. Four. The woman at the counter checks all the tickets. Checks. Five. The airline usually charges more for extra baggage. Charges. Six. My friend is usually late and often misses her flight. Misses. Seven. Mary travels for business about once a month. Travels. Eight. There is a penalty for anyone who changes his ticket. Changes. Unit four, activity seven. One. A. He's sending email. B. He's mailing a letter. C. He's getting email. Two. A. She has short blonde hair. B. She has long brown hair. C. She has short brown hair. Three. Why was this email returned? A. You typed the wrong address. B. You forgot to use stamps. C. The envelope is torn. Four. What's your email address? A. One seven eight two North Ocean Drive. B. It's Susan at Wilco dot com. C. On the envelope. Five. Who are you writing that letter to? My pen pal in Japan. Wow! I didn't know you knew Japanese. Don't be so impressed. We write in English. Then why not get a pen pal in England or Canada? Where is his pen pal? Six. What does your pen pal look like? She told me she's short and has long hair. Blonde?
No, red. It's straight. Not curly. I like curly hair. What does her pen pal look like? Unit 10. Activity 4. 1. We'll make it just in time to board the plane. Hey, you can't take two carry-on bags? I can't? Oh, well, then you can carry one of them, and I'll carry the other. <laughs> and what about mine? You can check yours with the flight attendant. I really need to have both of mine. Two. Excuse me, ma'am, is this small red bag yours? Why, yes, it is. Is there a problem? Could you open it for us, please? That's just my extra jewelry, but you can look if you want. Here's the key. Three. Can you describe your missing bag? Of course. It was a big one. Brown? Red? Blue? Black, of course. Black's my favorite color. That narrows it down. Four. What do you mean you have to charge me extra? Each passenger is only allowed to check two bags. You have three. I paid for my ticket. I can check three bags if I want. Of course you can. But we have to charge extra since you have more than two. Review 1. Review 1. Activity 1. 1. Who's the one on the end? The redhead? That's my mom. That red hair isn't natural, is it? Not anymore. It's gray underneath. Where does she work? In a school. She teaches little children. I didn't know your mom wore glasses. She doesn't really. Those are just reading glasses. 2. The one with the brown hair must be your dad. No, my dad doesn't have any hair. Oh, then your dad's the one with the mustache. Uh-huh. He's not as tall as my uncle. Not at all. He looks like a businessman. Actually, he's a writer. Next time, show me a book he's written. 3. Your twin sister must be this one. Yep. She's the one with long, straight, blonde hair. She's beautiful. Is she a model? A TV star? Far from it. She's a doctor. She looks like an actress. She could have her own TV program. That's a good idea. More interesting than practicing medicine. 4. Which one's your uncle? He's the one with brown hair. Oh, the one next to your dad. That's quite a beard he has. Yeah, and he dyed it brown to match his hair. Gray hair is better than no hair. Is your uncle a writer like your dad? Not at all. He's a pilot. A pilot? Wow. I can't imagine flying a 747. 5. Who's the other pretty tall girl? Would you believe she's my younger sister? She's younger than you? Huh. What pretty long brown hair she has. Actually, it used to be blonde. For all I know, it could be red now. Red would be nice. She should change those glasses, though. She hurt her eyes staring at a computer screen all day. She's a computer operator. Computers are so bad for your eyes. 6. Who's the young guy? That's my cousin, Bill. Your cousin? He has the same curly blonde hair as you. Yeah, he used to have a beard, but he cut it off. What does he do for a living? He's a French professor. He teaches at the university. Ooh la la! Fluent in French, eh? Unit 10. 
Activity 5 1. Where are you flying today? Los Angeles. On the 2 o'clock flight? That's right. Flight 203 to Los Angeles leaves from gate 33. It's on time. Great. I hate it when a flight gets delayed. Here's your boarding pass. Have a nice trip. 2. I'm meeting someone on the 3.30 flight from Lima. Where does it arrive? Flight 343? Yes, flight 343 from Lima. That will be arriving at gate 45, but I'm afraid it's delayed. Delayed? But I called the airline a couple of hours ago and they said it was on time. There's been a problem since then. It'll be three hours late. Three hours? And I thought I would be late. 3. I'm trying to get on the 415 flight to Tokyo. Am I on time? Not exactly. It's 350 now, but luckily for you, that flight's been delayed. I never thought I'd be happy about a delay, but hey, that's great news. Okay. Just let me check your baggage for you. And may I see your ticket? Here you are. What gate do we leave from? Gate 35. However, you're not on this flight. Of course I am. Flight 453 to Tokyo, leaving at a quarter after four. Yes, but today is Monday. Your ticket is for Tuesday. Four. Can you help me, please? My boyfriend was supposed to come on flight from Toronto, but I can't find him. Calm down. What does he look like? Well, he's tall and really good-looking, and... Was he on the 5 o'clock from Toronto? Flight 252? Yeah, that's right. Gate 25. Well, there's your problem. This is gate 24. Gate 25 is over there. Oh, thank you so much. That flight was early, so he might be in the baggage claim. Review 1. Activity 2. 1. Let me just put your name in my address book. It's Julie Brown. B-R-O-W-N-E. And Julie is spelled J-U-L-Y, right? No, silly. That's the month of July. My name's J-U-L-I-E. I-E. Fine. What's your email? J. Brown. It's all one word. At spring.net. Spring.net. Got it. 2. I'll write my name and address for you. Bob Brown. No E on Brown. Bob? I thought your name was Robert. It is, but I prefer to be called Bob. Oh, well, write down your email address, too. Okay. bbrown at link.com. No capital letters. All the letters are lowercase, aren't they? That's right. Three. It's been nice meeting you, Don. That's Dan, not Don. D-A-N. Dan, with an A. I'm so sorry. Are you still interested in exchanging email? Sure. My address is cool underscore guy at school dot edu. Cool guy. G-U-Y. That's me. And there are no capital letters in that address. All lowercase. All right. Cool underscore guy. No capital letters. Four. Anne. That's a great name. It was my grandmother's name. Do you spell it with an E? Nope. No E. It's just plain and simple A-N-N. -N. Give me your email address, and I'll send you a message. Okay. It's cool.gal at school.edu. Cool.gal, G-A-L. Say, cool gal, do you know cool guy? You mean Dan? He has almost the same email address as mine. Unit 10.
Activity 6 1. Do you see that bald guy? You mean the one on the aisle? Yeah, him. Can you believe it? Eleven at night on a plane, and he's still working. Some people don't know how to relax. I do. I never take my computer with me when I travel. You don't have to worry. All you have on your computer is games. 2. Look at the woman next to the bald guy. I'm glad I'm not sitting there. I hate the middle seat. Me too. I'd rather be on the aisle. But she doesn't seem to care. Look, she's sound asleep. I can never sleep on a plane. 3. Look at that guy with the mustache. Isn't he good looking? Which guy? Oh, the one on the aisle up there? Eh, he's not so good looking. You're just jealous. I wonder what he's reading. Maybe it's a novel. Nah, look. He's in first class. Rich guy. I bet he's reading a book about money. Good looking and rich. So, what do you want me to do? Grow a mustache too? Four. Don't get too interested in your rich guy. His wife is sitting next to him. Maybe she's not his wife. Look, she's not even talking to him. Well, he's reading, and she's listening to music on her headphones. But she's not even looking at him. She's looking out the window. I wonder what she's listening to. Five. Is that woman in the middle seat still sleeping? Yeah. Lucky, isn't she? Wish I could sleep. Who's sitting on the other side of her? You mean by the window? It looks like a young woman or man, I can't tell. Anyway, she or he has headphones on. Listening to music? No, it looks like she's watching the movie. And laughing. I saw that movie. I didn't think it was funny. Six. Did you bring anything to read? I feel like reading. I didn't bring anything, but why don't you ask that guy in the aisle? Where? The one across from the bald guy? Yeah, him. He's reading a magazine. Oh, yeah, he's got like two or three magazines with him. Maybe he'll lend me one. Review 1. Activity 3. 1. A. She's sending an email. B. She's stamping the envelope. C. She's talking to the mail carrier. 2. A. He's cooking soup. B. He's looking for soap. C. He's washing the pot. 3. A. He has blonde hair and a mustache. B. He has curly brown hair. C. He has short red hair. 4. A. She's mailing a letter. B. She's writing a letter. C. She's reading a letter. 5. How do you spell your name? A. It's Tom. B. T. O. M. C. Nice to meet you. 6. What time is the dinner? A. It's at 4 o'clock. B. It's on Sunday. C. It lasts an hour. 7. Susan's very athletic. 
A. She loves playing soccer. B. She's a talented piano player. C. She's good at playing cards. 8. What language do you speak? A. China. B. Spanish. C. France. 9. Aunt Mary called yesterday. Her birthday's in two days. On Sunday? We already have plans for Sunday. So does she. So she's having her party on Monday. Monday? That's a funny day for a party. When's the birthday party? 10. You should meet my cousin Roberto. He's a really good musician. I didn't know you had a cousin. He's not from around here. He's Mexican. Does he play Mexican music? Yeah. He plays the guitar and he sings, too. Where's Roberto from? Unit 10. Activity 7. 1. A. They're boarding the plane. B. They're bored on the flight. C. They're beginning to fight. 2. A. He's slipping on the stair. B. He's sleeping in a chair. C. He's selecting her seat. 3. I'm sorry, you're only allowed to have one carry-on bag. A. She carried on without him. B. I followed it here. C. Then I'll check one of them. 4. I really don't like airplane food. A. Then bring a sandwich with you. B. It's hard to sleep on a plane. C. The flight is really long. 5. Where's your baggage? Over there. You mean that big black bag? No, the small blue one next to it. That blue one? <laughs> it's so small. I like to travel light. Which one is her suitcase? 6. What's in this bag? It's so heavy. Nothing. Just some books. I like to read on the plane. That's all? You must at least have some CDs in here. No, I hate music. I just like to read. Then you must have a lot of books. It's so heavy. Oh, my computer's in there, too. What's in the bag? Unit 5. Unit 5. Activity 2. 1. We don't have time for a big meal. Let's just stop for something quick. I know a noodle shop around the corner. It's quick. 2. The menu is on the wall above the counter. So we order at the counter and take our food outside, right? Three. Do you see the waitress? I'm ready to order. The service at this place is so slow sometimes. Four. Well, I'm ready to go. Where should we put our trash? I saw some trash cans by the door. 5. This is a nice place. Yeah, this tablecloth is beautiful. And what nice flowers they put on the table. 6. 
Do you want to order dessert? Yes. Let's ask the waiter to show us the menu again. Unit 11. Unit 11. Activity 2. 1. Is May the 10th a Saturday? Yes, I... No, it's Monday. May the 10th is Monday. 2. We're playing tennis on Saturday, April the 15th, right? We're playing on Saturday, but that's the 16th. 3. Can we meet at a quarter to three? At a quarter to three? Yeah, that's fine. 4. I can give you an appointment with Dr. Farrar at half past two on the 15th. The 15th at 2.30. Great. Five. How about Tuesday? I'm free on Tuesday. I'm busy then. Let's meet on Thursday, March 11th. Six. I'll pick you up at a quarter after five. Okay, a quarter after five. I'll be ready. Unit five, activity three. One. They have good chicken here. Chicken's fine. Do you think it's better with noodles or rice? The rice here isn't that good. Let's get noodles. Two. I recommend the steak platter. It comes with three vegetables. No steak for me. I'm vegetarian. Is there a vegetable platter? The cook will make it for you special. Three. I think I'll get a pizza with no cheese. Who ever heard of pizza with no cheese? Yeah, I guess you're right. Pizza with cheese, then. Four. Those Japanese vegetables look really good. I think I'll get those. They have a special, you know. The vegetables come with chicken, beef, or tofu. Hmm. Should I get them with tofu? Yes, that sounds good. Unit 11, Activity 3. Example. 7th, 7, 16th, 16. Unit 11, Activity 3, Part 1. 1. 11. 2. 7th, 3. Eighteenth. Four. Eighteen. Five. Seven. Six. Fifteenth. Seven. Eleventh. Eight. Fifteen. Unit eleven. Activity three. Part 2. 1. I'm playing soccer at 11. 2. The meeting's on the 7th. 3. My birthday is on the 18th. 4. I'll be 18 on my birthday. 5. There'll be 7 people at the meeting. 6. We're staying in town till the 15th. 7. They got tickets for a soccer game on the 11th. 8. The plane leaves in 15 minutes. Unit 5, Activity 4. 1. How much is that altogether? Well, you had one chicken with rice, that's four ninety-five, one pizza with meat, five forty-five, and two sodas. That's two fifty. We had one soda. One soda for one twenty-five. That's eleven dollars and sixty-five cents total. Sorry we made a mistake. Two. 
Excuse me, there's a problem with my bill. Let me see. Chicken sandwich, three seventy-five. Chicken salad, four ninety-five. Oh, I see. Yes, the chicken salad costs only four seventy-five, and I only had one coffee. Let me fix it for you, sir. One fifty for one coffee and four seventy-five for the salad. Three. Excuse me, I think there is a mistake here. Two vegetable specials, one soup, and one salad. What's the problem? I only had one vegetable dish, and it's three seventy-five, not three eighty-five. Sorry, you're right. The special is three seventy-five, so I'll take three dollars and ninety-five cents off your bill. That's nine dollars and fifty cents total. Unit Eleven, Activity Four. One. Hello, I'm calling from your dentist's office. We'd like to remind you of your appointment with Doctor Farrar on April thirteenth at half past two. Please remember that the doctor requires a twenty-four hour cancellation notice. Otherwise, please call the office to confirm your appointment, and we hope to see you on the thirteenth. Two. Hi, Carlos. It's Pamela. About our date next Saturday. Sorry, I mean Friday. Well, you know what I mean. We're supposed to meet on the fourteenth at six thirty, but it turns out I have a meeting at five, and I don't think it'll be over in time to meet you then. Could we make it a quarter past seven? I hope so. Call me if there's a problem. If I don't hear from you, I'll just plan to meet you at a quarter past seven on the fourteenth. Okay. Bye. Three. Hello, I'm calling from the State Street Garage to let you know that your car will be ready tomorrow. That's the eleventh, right? Yes, the eleventh. I know you want to get your car as early as possible. We open at half past seven, so you can come pick it up then. All right. See you tomorrow. Four. Hey, Carlos. It's Roberta. Sorry, it's taken me so long to get back to you. Anyhow, I was finally able to reserve a court for our tennis game, so it's on the twelfth at a quarter to twelve. That's Tuesday. Oh no, sorry, Wednesday. Anyhow, it's the twelfth. That's when you said you'd be free, right? I hope so. See you then, at a quarter to twelve. Okay. See ya. Five. Carlos, it's Nikki. I got your message. Sorry you can't make it for lunch on Wednesday. Yeah, I know. Things always come up at the last minute at work. Don't worry about it. But anyhow, I'll see you this weekend, right? It's my birthday, remember, on the fifteenth. We're all meeting at my place at seven thirty for dinner. See you then. Unit five, activity five, example. Noodles. Noodles. One. I'm still starving after that big meal. What do you have there? Just a small pizza. A pizza. Two. What's that you ordered? Fish soup. Do you want to try it? Ooh, fish soup. Three. I can't wait to eat. What did you bring me? 
A large order of French fries. French fries. Four. What do you want with your vegetables? Oh, I guess I'll have tofu. Tofu. Five. What's your entree? Chicken. Chicken. Six. Did you order me fries? Fries? No, I got you salad. Salad. Unit eleven, activity five. One. Hi, Laura. It's Patty. What time did we say we'd meet at the gym? At a quarter past five. Why? Can't you make it? I can make it if we change it to a quarter to six. That is. Okay, Patty. I don't know why you always have to change plans, but okay. I'll meet you at a quarter to six. Two. Laura, the boss wants to see you in room eleven in fifteen minutes for a special meeting. In fifteen minutes? But it's eleven thirty now, and I plan to meet Carlo for lunch at twelve. Well, you'd better call him and cancel the date. No, I won't cancel it. I'll just tell him to meet me at half past twelve. Three. Hi, Laura. It's Lee. You're still planning to pick me up at the airport today, aren't you? Of course. What did you think? Your flight arrives at a quarter after four, right? That's what I called to tell you. I have to get a later flight. It gets in at a quarter past seven. Let's see. I'm meeting Patty at the gym at a quarter to six, but I guess I'll only want to stay an hour. So yeah, I can get you at seven fifteen. Four. Laura, it's Betty. You know our meeting today at a quarter to three. Oh no! Don't tell me you want to change plans too. Relax. I can still meet you then. I just thought you might want to meet at a cafe instead of in the office. Oh, sure, fine. Let's meet at Cafe Artiste. I'll see you there at a quarter to three. Five. Hey, Joe. It's Laura. Are we still on for dinner tonight? Yep, seven thirty, right? Yeah, I might be a little late because I have to get Lee at the airport, so it'll probably be more like a quarter to eight. Quarter to eight is fine. You're bringing Lee with you to dinner, aren't you? Unit five, activity six. One. You know, there's a really good Brazilian restaurant just up the street. I don't want a big meal. Let's just stop and get something quick. Like a hamburger? There's a fast food place a block from here, on the southeast corner of Plain Street and Third Avenue. I think it's called Hamburger Deli. No, it's Hamburger USA. I know that place. Let's go there. We'll walk over to Third Avenue. Let's hurry. I'm starving. Two. Let's go to Teriyaki House. I'm in the mood for some Japanese food. I like Japanese food too, but teriyaki? Isn't that just meat? I don't know, but they have sushi too. Okay, I like fish. Is it far? Just two blocks south of here. Oh, I know. It's that place on the corner of Cherry Street and Fourth Avenue. Three. We don't have much time. We better go to a fast food place. The rice bowl. I love the rice bowl. I wanted to go to All Fries. Yuck! I hate the food there. The rice bowl is just three blocks west of here. Three blocks? All Fries is closer. Forget All Fries. We'll take the bus to the rice bowl. It stops right on the corner of Plain Street and Second Avenue. We only have to walk one block. Four. Let's try that new place. What's it called? That Mexican place. I'm tired of Mexican food. What about Brazilian? There's that Brazilian place on the corner of Cherry Street and First Avenue. 
Isn't that a Turkish place? Delight something? No, across from there, on the west side of the street. Okay, let's try it. Five. Have you ever had Turkish food? No, that's a good idea. Do you know a place? Well, there's Istanbul Express on the corner of Linden Street and Third Avenue. That's not far. But I prefer Turkish Delight on Cherry Street and First Avenue. Istanbul Express is closer. Let's go there. Unit Eleven, Activity Six. One. Hi, Larry. It's Jim. We're still on for tennis today, right? Uh huh. I reserved a court for eleven fifteen. Great. I just wanted to be sure you'd be there on time because I have a lunch date with Bob right after our game. You sure are a busy guy, aren't you? Two. It was great having lunch with you, Bob. Yeah, it was. So, are you free this afternoon? Do you want to do something? I wish I could, but I have some work to finish, and first I have to get a birthday present for Sue. Three. That'll be thirty dollars, sir. Could you wrap it, please? Yes, of course. One moment, please. Four. Bob, it's Jim. Are you still free this afternoon? Yeah. Why? What's going on? Well, after I got Sue's present, I was on my way to the office, and what? What happened? I had a small accident. I hit a parked car. My car's at the garage now, so could you? Yeah, sure. I'll come pick you up. Five. Thanks for bringing me to the office, Bob. I really need to get some reports typed. Glad to help out. So I'll see you later at Sue's, right? What time is her party? It's at half past eight. But don't worry, I won't need a ride. I'll just get a cab after I'm finished here. Okay, but I just wanted to look. It's late, and I have a lot of work to do. So I'll talk to you later. Okay? Six. Hi, Sue. Happy birthday. Why, thank you, Jim. But what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here for your birthday. But. Where's Bob and everyone else? Jim, tonight's not my birthday party. It's not. No, my birthday's on the sixteenth. That's tomorrow. Today's the fifteenth. Unit five, activity seven. One. A. Dinner is chicken with fries. B. Dinner is chicken with noodles. C. Dinner is chicken with rice. Two. A. She's reading a menu. B. She's eating a meal. C. She's cleaning the table. Three. There's a mistake on my bill. A. I'm sorry. We don't serve steak. B. I'm sorry. Let me fix it for you. C. I'm sorry. Bill went home. Four. Do you prefer noodles or rice with your chicken? A. I think I'll have rice. B. The chicken is nice. C. I prefer it without ice. Five. Do you want to eat at Hamburger Deli? No, I don't feel like eating meat. The rice bowl has good vegetable dishes. It's too far. What about that Japanese place? You mean the one across from the deli? Okay, let's go there.
Where will they eat? 6. Excuse me, you charged me too much for my coffee. No, I didn't. $3.50 is correct. But coffee is only $1.75. You're right, sir, but you drank two. How much does one cup of coffee cost? Unit 11, Activity 7. 1. A. Mary's arriving on the 15th. B. The party's at a quarter after seven. C. It's September 15th. 2. A. It's a quarter to two. B. It's half past two. C. It's a quarter to three. Three. I can't make it to lunch at 1.15. A. Let's eat later then. B. I'll make lunch. C. It's on January 15th. Four. Can we meet tomorrow? A. This is my friend Tom. B. Sure, I'm free at 11. C. I don't like meat. 5. Your birthday's soon, isn't it? Uh huh. It's on the 15th. Are you coming to my party? Of course. It'll be on the 15th, I suppose. Actually, no. It's on the 18th at 8.30. I'll be there. When is the birthday party? 6. Do you want to go to the movies this afternoon? Okay. What time? If we go to the 3.15 show, then we'll be able to meet Tom for an early dinner. 3.15 is fine. That'll give me time to finish typing these reports first. What will they do after the movies? Unit 6. Unit 6. Activity 2. 1. Did you remember to get ice? Ice? Oh, no. I knew there was something I forgot. 2. Let's see. I think the table is ready. Napkins. We forgot the napkins. Three. Did you put some chips in bowls? Chips are in the bowls and placed around the room. Four. Look, all my friends are on one side of the room, and all your friends are on the other side. Yeah, I guess we forgot to introduce people. I'll do it now. Five. Wow, look at all this room you have for dancing. That's because I spent all afternoon rearranging the furniture. Six. Did you say hi to Jim and Debbie? Oh, no. I didn't see them come in. Where are they? Unit 12. Unit 12. Activity 2. 1. What are you watching? Sports or the news? I never miss the news. 2. It looks like it'll be sunny tomorrow. Great. Then we can go to that soccer game. Three. What are you doing? Just checking out some new recipes for dinner. Four. What's the score? Fifteen to twelve. My team's winning. Five. Oh, this news is so depressing. Then why look at the news? You should check out entertainment.
Six. It looks like that soccer game was called off because of rain. Too bad. But check out these baseball scores. Unit six, activity three, example, bit, i. I'll have just a bit, not too much. Bet, e. I bet he won't come tonight. Unit six, activity three, part one. One. Sit. Two. Set. Three. Let. Four. Lit. Five. Pin. Six. Pen. Unit six. Activity three. Part two. One. Martha, it's been so long since I've seen you. Too long. Come sit here next to me. I've been standing all evening. It's nice to sit down. Two. Here's your drink. Where should I put it? Just set it here next to me. Set it here on this table. Okay. Just let me get a napkin. Three. Could someone let Bob in? I'll get it. Let him in and tell him to put his coat in the bedroom. Four. Did you light the candles? Yes, I lit the candles on the table. I hope you lit the ones on the coffee table too. Five. Do you have a pin I could borrow? Sure. What for? The button came off my shirt. I need a pin to keep it closed. Six. I need a pen. Do you have one? Yes, I have a pen right here. What are you doing? Just writing down that guy's phone number. Unit Twelve, Activity Three. One. We begin this afternoon's streaming video cast with the latest economic news. Investors have returned to the market, and the stock index is up ten point three points. Investors hope the market will continue to climb and reward them for their patience. Let's see how the upcoming election affects stock prices. Two. The president continues this week with his election campaign, making visits to voters across the country. On Friday, he takes a plane back to the Capitol, where he will present awards to the outstanding volunteers of the year at a special ceremony. This year's presidential election is one of the closest ever. We promise to keep voters up to date on all the latest campaign news. Three. International leaders met this week to discuss future plans for the space station. Politicians from 15 nations were present at the meeting. Opening remarks were made by experts from the International Academy of Scientists. Plans are being made to send astronauts from five different nations to the station in the next year. Four. A passenger plane crashed in the mountains north of the capital last night. The crash occurred at 10 to 10 in the evening near the village of East Hillside. Village residents reported hearing a loud sound followed by a shaking of the ground. The passengers included several distinguished members of the International Academy of Scientists. Rescue workers have not yet arrived at the scene. Stay tuned for further developments. Unit six, activity four. One. Okay, I'll see you later. Who could that be at this hour? Yeah. Gary, it's you. I'm finally here. Hey, what's going on? Isn't your party tonight? 
It was. Look at the time. Everybody's leaving now. The time? It's only five in the morning. Hey, the night's still young. Two. What are you doing? Watch out with that glass. What's the matter? Look, you spilled your drink all over the carpet. Oh well, the stain's mostly under the table. Maybe no one will notice. Three. Ow! Oh my goodness! How could I fall like that? You stepped in something. What is it? Gross! Someone dropped his food all over the floor. Yuck! Why didn't they clean it up? Four. Where are you going? You can't leave me to entertain all these guests alone. Shh! No one will notice. I just have to run out to the store for a minute. To the store? This is no time to go shopping. I have to. We're running out of food. Five. Here, try some of this drink. It's really good. Okay, here's my glass. Hey, watch out! Don't pour so much. Sorry, did I spill any on you? No, but you almost did. Mmm, you're right. This is delicious. Six. Let me guess. You had something with tomato sauce for dinner. I did, but how do you know? You have a big red spot on your blouse. Oh no! I'll never get this stain out. Unit Twelve, Activity Four. One. Did you check the score for today's game? Which one, cricket or golf? The cricket game, Pakistan versus Bangladesh. Let's see, Pakistan two hundred forty runs, Bangladesh one hundred twenty runs. Two. Whoa! My team won. See, we beat Italy four to two. I don't see why you like soccer, anyhow. Soccer's great. It's a lot more interesting than that American football you watch. Oh, soccer's all right. So Argentina won the game today. Great. Three. Check the volleyball scores. In a minute, I'm looking at these basketball scores. Which game? Korea versus Turkey. Yeah, that one. Oh, Turkey lost twenty-five to twenty-one. Four. What's that you're looking at? Table tennis scores? Table tennis? No way! I want to find out about that tennis match today. Who played? Oh, I see. Australia against Japan. And look, the Japanese player Nakamura beat Williams from Australia three sets to two. Five. So, did you check those softball scores? Baseball, not softball. Venezuela beat Mexico. What was the score? Seven to five. Six. Canada beat the United States in soccer. No hockey. Look at the score. Three to one. Not bad. Three to one, and Canada won. Unit six, activity five. One. Okay, here's the lineup. We start out with soft, easy listening music. Bad idea. You need to have music with lots of energy at the start. You need to get people excited. Okay. How about some Latin music like salsa or merengue? Good choice. They're my favorite anyway. Then we move on to some techno and dance, and end with easy listening. Sounds good. Let's play lots of Latin music, though. Two. Check this out. Hey, dude, where do you get this CD? 
It's my all-time favorite. Metal is awesome. I'm saving that CD for last. First, I'll play some rap CDs. Cool. Then hip hop. Leading right up to and blowing them all away, hard rock and metal. Right on, dude. Three. What's that music you're playing? It's a new blues CD I picked up. It's great. The blues are my favorite. What else do you have there? Well, I think I'll play some rock next, 'cause that's what everyone wants for dancing. What about R and B? Do you have any of that? I'll put some on after a few rock CDs. Four. What's with this music? Doesn't anyone around here like dancing? You don't like this jazz? It's my favorite. I like jazz fine, but I want to dance, man. I'm gonna play this blues CD next. Yeah, and when are you gonna let us dance? Then I'm gonna play some trance, 'cause that's what everyone's been asking for. Ho hum, and why don't I just sit here on the sofa and take a nap? Five. Hey, don't people like dancing around here? This music is so boring. You don't like this folk music? It's my favorite. I like folk music fine, but I want to dance, man. I'm gonna play this blues CD next. Yeah? And when are you gonna let us dance? Then I'm gonna play some disco, 'cause people always like that. Hey, just call me when you play some real dance music. Unit Twelve, Activity Five. One. Welcome to your twenty-four-seven weather forecast, brought to you by your internet service provider. The week will begin with snow, which will end by Tuesday. Then it's cloudy every day until the end of the week, when we have some sunshine. Two. This is your internet weather forecast for your hometown. The week will end the way it begins: sun, sun, sun. It will rain on Wednesday, but the rest of the week is sunny. So get out those shorts and t-shirts and enjoy the sunshine. Three. Here's the beach report for this week. We'll have two days of warm sunshine on Tuesday and Thursday. Monday and Wednesday will bring lots of wind. So, if you're planning a beach trip, pack your windbreaker. You'll also need an umbrella for the rain at the end of the week. Four. The week starts out pleasantly with two days of sunshine. But watch out for the snow on Wednesday. Sun again on Thursday, but that will be followed by a day of clouds. Be on the lookout for more snow next week. Five. This looks to be a gray, dreary week without a bit of sunshine. Snow on Monday will be followed by three days of clouds. Warmer weather will bring rain at the end of the week. This looks like a good week to get out of town and go to the beach. Unit six, activity six. One. Bob, we're having a surprise birthday party for Matt. It's this coming Monday, the fifth. His birthday is actually January fifteenth, but we thought it'd be more of a surprise if we did it earlier. He's coming at eight, so we want everyone to be there an hour before. See you at my house on the fifth at seven. Two. Hi, Mary. Don't forget my party on March thirteenth. 
It's really important. Well, you know why. My 30th birthday. I can't believe it. The party begins at 9.30. Don't be late. Could you bring some CDs with you? I only have a few. Nine or ten. And I don't think that's enough. Okay. See you on the 13th. Three. Hey, Rob. There's been a change of plans. I told you the party was on the 16th, right? Well, I had to change it to next month, April 6th. It's too complicated to explain, but anyhow, it'll be on the 6th, but at the same time, a quarter after 8. So be there, okay? I don't think many people will come since I had to change the date. Maybe only 15 or 20. But you'll be there, right? I'm counting on you. Four. Tina, it's Shirley. Listen, are you free next Saturday? Because I'm planning a simply super party next Saturday the 18th. Whoops, next Saturday's the 20th, isn't it? September 20th at 10. You absolutely must attend and bring that darling boyfriend of yours. Bring all your friends. Come at 10 and be ready to party all night. We'll party until at least 8 or 9 the next morning, I'm sure. Five. Hi, Tom. You're still planning to come to my party, aren't you? It's still on October 19th, but I had to change the time. I can't be home till after 9 o'clock, so I'm asking everyone to come at 10.30. That'll give me time to get ready. You said you were bringing three or four friends, didn't you? Let me know so I can prepare enough food. Okay, see you on the 19th. Unit 12, Activity 6. Example. T. Missed. D. Raved. Id. Grounded. 1. The game started at 3 p.m. 2. Boy, it sure rained today. 3. He checked out the basketball scores online. 4. I used a recipe from the Internet. 5. A plane crashed in the mountains last night. 6. The baseball fans painted the town red after their team won. 7. They discussed the stock market at yesterday's meeting. 8. The earthquake last week damaged a lot of buildings. Unit 6. Activity 7. 1. A. She's filling the sink. B. She's spilling her drink. C. She's wearing mink. 2. A. She's sitting at the table. B. She's putting out the food. C. She's cleaning up the mess. 3. Would you help me move these chairs? A. Sure. Where do you want them? B. Yes, we need a lot of food. C. Okay, I'll choose the music. 4. We're running out of chips and dip. A. Don't run so fast. B. I'll go to the store. C. We can clean it up. 
Five. Latin music is my favorite kind of music. It's really easy to dance to. I don't like to dance, but I can dance to this. You can't dance to rap music or jazz. Give me that Latin beat. What kind of music do they like? Six. Oh no! I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. The coffee will stain your rug. Yes, it will. But it doesn't matter. It's only a rug. And there's more coffee. What's the problem? End of CD one, Unit twelve, Activity seven. One. A. She's checking the weather. B. She's commuting to work. C. She's coming to put her keys away. Two. A. Spain won the game. B. Mexico lost to Spain. C. Mexico won the game. Three. Are you going to watch the Oscars on TV tonight? A. Yes, I'm very interested in science. B. Yes, I love movies. C. Yes, I watched it. Four. We'll have sun all next week. A. There are seven days in a week. B. Great, I'm tired of rain. C. My son will come next week. Five. Did you hear about the crash? Yes, it was terrible news. Flying is very dangerous, especially in bad weather. What happened? Six. I'm really getting tired of this weather. Rain, rain, rain. Don't worry. The weather report says sun by the end of the week. But we have to wait for Friday for that nice weather. Right. So don't forget to bring your umbrella today. What's the weather report for Friday? End of CD two. Review three. Review three. Activity one. One. The big blue bag is mine. And that small red one? That's mine too, but it's a carry-on bag. So you're just checking the blue one? Yes. What gate does my flight leave from? Gate twenty-five. It's leaving at three twenty, so you have just ten minutes to get there. Two. Look out the window. What a beautiful sunny day. I know. I saw the weather report. It's going to be twenty-eight degrees today. Twenty-eight degrees. The last day of our vacation, and we finally get good weather. Are you finished packing? Almost. What time does our plane leave? At half past seven. Let's take those suitcases downstairs and check out. Three. Are you checking the soccer scores? Did Spain win the game? No one won. It was postponed because of bad weather. Yeah, it's hard to play soccer in rainy weather. They're playing the game tomorrow, and it'll be warm and sunny then. Great. What time does it begin? Let's see. It says here they'll begin playing at ten minutes past three. Four. What kind of a website is that? Canadian hockey? You said you were going to check the weather in Spain. Well, while I'm online, I wanted to check the hockey scores. Forget hockey. We're flying to Spain tomorrow, and I want to know the weather. Let me see. What time does our flight arrive? At four fifteen in the afternoon. Hmm. Madrid won't be sunny tomorrow.
It'll be cloudy and windy, and at 4 p.m. the temperature will be 23 degrees. Review 3. Activity 2. 1. Hi, Jim. It's Patty. I finally got my travel plans all arranged, and I've booked my flight. I arrive at 20 after 8 on the 19th. Can you pick me up at the airport then? I'm looking forward to a nice visit with you. Seven whole days. I can't wait. Then I'm off for a two-week cruise in Mexico. I'm so excited. So don't forget the 19th. I'll be waiting for you at the airport at 20 after 8. Two. Hello, Mr. Wilson. I'm calling from Comfort Airlines. We found your lost suitcases. A blue one and a small red one. You need to pick them up at the airport by the 12th. That's tomorrow, isn't it? Sorry to rush you, but if you don't pick them up on the 12th, we'll have to send them to the lost luggage department. So, see you tomorrow. Mr. Wilson, this is Pamela from Sunshine Travel. I've found a really good deal on that cruise you were interested in. I can get you a 20% discount, but you need to book by the 13th. Let's see, today's the 11th, and I'm out of the office tomorrow, so you'll have to call me the next day, because that will be the 13th. Call me then, and we'll book that cruise for you. Four. Jim, it's Tom. I hope you're still interested in going fishing this weekend. Can you make it then? You'll just need a small pack, not a big suitcase. Don't forget money for the boat rental. It's only about 16 or $17 a day. It's not too expensive. It's the 15th. Don't forget. Five. Hey, Jim. It's Bob. I got tickets for the baseball game next week on the 18th. So you owe me $17, man. Just kidding. I'm treating because I didn't get you anything for your birthday last month. Anyhow, this game on the 18th is supposed to be a really good one. It starts at 7, so I'll meet you downstairs at 6.30. Six. Jim, darling, it's Shirley. You're coming to Nikki's surprise birthday party, aren't you, dear? I booked a party room at the Continental Hotel on the 20th, and I've invited scads of people. I sent out more than 150 invitations. It'll be a blast. So come at 9 o'clock, darling, on the 20th. Dress in your best, and don't forget a birthday present for dear Nikki. Review 3. Activity 3. 1. A. It's not cloudy. B. It's cloudy and windy. C. It's a sunny day. 2. A. The passengers are going through security. B. The travelers are buying new bags. C. The tourists are selecting their seats. 3. A. He's meeting someone at the airport. B. He's looking for work. C. He's waiting to take a plane. 4. A. 
They're hitting the ball. B. They're playing basketball. C. They're carrying a basket. 5. I booked a small room with a king size bed at a new hotel. A. Don't they have a larger room? B. There are a lot of books in this room. C. Good, I prefer a small bed. 6. When does the flight leave? A. From gate 15. B. To London. C. At 9.15. 7. Can you have dinner with us on Sunday? A. The weather report said sunny, but windy. B. Sure, I'm free then. C. I've already eaten lunch. 8. What's the weather forecast? A. It'll rain tomorrow. B. It's 4 o'clock. C. Yesterday was rainy. 9. The meeting's at 1.10. Where will it be? In Larry's office. It's next to the library. Okay, I'll see you then. Where will the meeting be? 10. Look, I booked us this great hotel by the lake. Right next to the lake? Fantastic. We can go swimming and fishing every day. Swimming and fishing? I don't want to go in the water. I just want to relax. We said we would have an active vacation. At least you can go hiking with me. Okay, I'll go hiking as long as I don't have to go in the water. What will they do on their vacation? Unit 13 Unit 13, Activity 2 1. I've been looking in all the stores for that CD. Where did you get it? Online. They have all kinds of music. 2. Where did you get that lipstick? Online. I got some new perfume, too. 3. Did you book our air tickets online? Yes. Now I have to make our hotel reservations. 4. The novel I got on the Internet arrived yesterday. When you finish, let me have it. I want to read it, too. 5. I'm going to order some things on the Internet. We need computer paper, envelopes, and pens for the office. 6. I sent my mom the most beautiful roses for Mother's Day. That's a great idea. I wonder what other gifts I could buy online. Unit 13. Activity 3. 1. I'm ordering supplies for the office. Do you need anything? Yeah, I could use some pens. Red pens. I'm tired of writing in black. Black? Red? What's the difference? They serve the same purpose. Red pens it is, though. 2. Your online order just arrived. What'd you get? The box is huge. It shouldn't be. I only ordered a CD, which is a pretty small thing. Well, maybe they sent you a CD player, because the box is not what I'd call small. 3. I love this electronics website. I get the best deals on radios, cell phones, cameras. What are you ordering this time? A new cell phone. The one I have now drives me crazy. Plus, it's red. I hate red. I'm getting a green one. Green? Ah, very professional color for a cell phone. 4. 
I'm ordering Sarah flowers for her birthday. She'd rather have new jewelry for her nose. Nose rings? Forget it. She's getting roses. Roses will die, but nose rings last. Well, for a while. Unit thirteen, activity four. One. I wouldn't call this easy. Two. She's not what I think of as smart. Three. They're never late. Four. It's not the cheapest item on the site. Five. We're not going to be late. Six. He's not as rich as you think. Unit thirteen, activity five. One. Electronics online. How may I help you? I ordered a digital camera from your online catalog, and instead got a digital video recorder in the mail. Please give me your name and order number so I can check our records. Martina Sal S A L is my name, and the order number is S eight nine four D four five eight. Did you say S as in Sam eight nine four B as in boy four five eight? No, D as in Delta Delta four five eight. Well, the video recorder is six hundred and ninety-five dollars. You got a bargain. I don't want to cheat the company. I want my digital camera for three hundred and ninety-five dollars and forty cents. Two. Electronics online. How may I help you? Hi, this is Mike Maloney, and I ordered two cell phones on March seventh, and still haven't received them. Wow. That is a long time. What's your order number? And it's Mike M A L O N E Y, right? Yes, and the order number is B O nine seven seven T five four six. I ordered two phones on March seventh and was charged two hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents for three phones. Two hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. The phone only costs eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Hmm. I actually ordered two phones, paid for three, and received none. So you said. I show two cell phones were mailed yesterday and should arrive on Friday. We'll credit your account eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Three. Electronics online. How may I help you? Uh, hi. I just got the webcams I ordered in the mail, but they're not the type I wanted. Let me take a look at your order. I'll need your order number or name. My name is Elena Peterson. P E T E R S O N, and the order number is L O seven eight B three two two. L O seven eight B. Three two two. Here you are, Elena. You ordered four webcams, PC compatible. You were charged one hundred and twenty-five dollars and fifty cents for each. My order was for webcams that work with both PC and Macintosh. That's more expensive. They're one hundred and thirty-two dollars and forty-five cents. Yes, but those are the ones I want. All right. Return the four webcams you have, and we'll ship the others to you today. Four. Electronics online. How may I help you? Finally, I've been on hold for almost an hour. I placed an order on your website for an HD TV set, a 26-inch TV set, a set that costs thirty-six hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. And, 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 I'm sitting here with a 13-inch TV and a $3,600 charge on my credit card, and on hold for one hour.
What's your order number, please? X nine 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 Y seven five four. X nine 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 Y seven five four. Here it is. You're Mr. Wilkio. No, John Wickelson. W i k e l s o n. Your name's misspelled. I'll change that. And I see one other little bitty problem. Someone typed thirteen inches rather than twenty-six inches. Isn't that funny? Two mistakes. Hilarious. When do I get my twenty-six inch TV? Let me put you on hold a moment and find out. Unit thirteen, activity six. One. For more travel tips, look on our website www.travelin.com. That's www.travelin.com. That's all for today. When you feel like traveling, bookmark your browser to www.travelin.com, the site for the best tips for travelers. Two. It's late. You're driving down the road. Where will you stop for the night? You should have checked into www.economyroom.com, the one site that will make sure you have a good night's sleep and still have money to pay for gas the next day. Travelers on a budget, check out our site before they get out a road map. www.economyroom.com. We won't rent you a car, but we will give you a place to park it. Three. Everybody wants a good deal on air travel. The best place to get the best prices on your airplane tickets is www.airticketstoyou.com. With our everyday low prices, you don't have to worry about choosing the cheapest time to travel. Choose the exact day and time you want to travel. We have the lowest price tickets available to you at www.airtickets2u.com. Check us out today. Four. Tired of the long trip out to the airport? Discover the convenience and comfort of train travel. With hourly departures from downtown, an onboard cafe, video news, movies, and optional limousine service at your destination, why travel any other way? Go to www.trainhours.com to find out about our convenient schedule. Use www.trainhours.com when planning your next business or pleasure trip. Unit thirteen, activity seven. One. A. They're looking in the box. B. They're searching for a carton. C. They're delivering the package. Two. A. He's browsing the aisles. B. He's shopping online. C. He's buying at a store. Three. Did you buy your air ticket online? A. I said goodbye earlier. B. They took my ticket at the door. C. Yes, and I booked a hotel room too. Four. Where did you buy the camera? A. On an electronics website. B. On the shelf. C. On Tuesday. 
Five. I ordered the book on the internet months ago. Our policy is to ship books within two days. You should have received it long ago. No kidding. So where is it? I want it tomorrow, or I'll cancel my order. It appears it's never been sent. I will personally send it, and you will have it tomorrow for sure. When will the woman get the book? Six. I ordered the lipstick in red and instead got pink. Then you must have ordered the wrong color. I know what I ordered. I'd never wear pink lipstick. Well, it's that or blue because we're all sold out of the red. What color lipstick does the woman want? Unit fourteen. Unit fourteen. Activity two. One. She ordered the skirts in size ten. Two. She ordered a flowered skirt. Three. She ordered a plain T-shirt in size ten. Four. She ordered a two-pocket shirt in size fourteen. Five. A plain T-shirt costs fifty dollars. Six. The baggy jeans cost forty-five dollars. Unit fourteen, activity three, example. This jacket's really warm. These jackets are really warm. Unit fourteen, activity three, part one. One. The sleeves ripped. Two. These skirts are black. Three. These T-shirts are too skimpy. Four. My new coat's too loose. Five. The button's missing from the pocket. Six. Look at these sweaters. Unit fourteen, activity three, part two. One. Now, why did you want to return your jacket? The sleeves ripped. It came out of the box that way. I'm sorry. I'll have a new jacket sent to you right away. Two. These skirts are black. I didn't order black skirts. I'm sorry, ma'am. What color skirts did you want? I want blue skirts. That's the color I ordered in the first place. Three. These T-shirts are too skimpy. I want to exchange them. Too skimpy? Did you order a size too small? No, my daughter ordered them, but I won't let her out of the house wearing shirts like these. Four. My new coat's too loose. I'd like to return it. That coat's supposed to be loose. It's the style. Well, I don't like it. I want to order a smaller size. Five. The button's missing from the shirt pocket. What a cheap shirt I ordered. Well, you don't really need a button on the pocket. I paid for a shirt with a button on the pocket, and that's what I want. Six. Look at these sweaters. Can you believe they sent me these? What's the matter with them? Look, these sweaters are full of holes. I want my money back. Unit fourteen, activity four. One. Those jeans would look nice on you. I just don't like that tight style. I like these baggy ones. Those just cover you up. How about these ones? Don't you like the flowers? Oh, they're so yesterday. You're so today. I think you should order the flowered jeans. No way.
I'm getting the ones I like, nice and loose and comfortable. 2. Do you think I should get one of these belts for my dad's birthday? Yeah, they're awesome. Hey, do you have that much money? No. $56 is a lot for a belt, isn't it? Well, they're genuine leather. Here's some that are only $25. Yeah, maybe I could do that. They're not as nice, though. No, but they're still okay. Yeah, I guess I'll have to get the cheapest one. 3. What do you think of this jacket? It's very handsome, but not so practical. It doesn't have pockets. You're right. How strange. Well, this one has pockets. That's a really nice-looking jacket. But the color's too bright. This one's not too bright, and it has pockets, too. I think you should get the bright one. Colors like that are too bright. I'm getting the other one. 4. What about this V-neck sweater? It's okay, but I always get turtlenecks. They make me feel like I'm choking. I like the V-neck. Or maybe the cardigan. You mean the one with the brown buttons? Yeah, that one's all right. I need one I can wear to work. Then get the cardigan. It's better looking. Yeah, you're right. I'll order that one. Unit 14. Activity 5. 1. Just let me make sure I've spelled your name correctly, Mrs. Johnson. It's Mr., not Mrs. And it's John Stone. S-T-O-N-E. So that's J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N-E. Yes, and my first name's Francis with an I, not an E. F-R-A-N-C-I-S. Two. All right, Mr. Johnstone. You live at 85 Main Street, correct? Yes, but Maine has an E at the end, like the state. M-A-I-N-E. M-A-I-N-E Street, New York, New York. No, New Paltz, New York. That's spelled P-A-L-T-Z. Capital N-E-W, capital P-A-L-T-Z. 3. I'm ordering the safari shirt on page 28. Page 28. Yes, I see. Item number 842. No, 842 has long sleeves. I want short sleeves. Number 840. Item number 840, the short-sleeved safari shirt. Okay, how many would you like? 4. I'd like three of the safari shirts, the short-sleeved ones. Three shirts at $28.99 each comes out to $87.96. Three times $28.99 is $86.97. It costs $86.97 for three shirts. Oh, yes, you're right. Then there's the 6% sales tax, too, of course, and the shipping of $4.95. That's a total of $97.14. 5. I want this order shipped to my sister, Kathy Walston. Is that Wilson? No, Walston. W-A-L-S-T-O-N. And it's Kathy with a K, not a C. All right, Kathy with a K. Unit 14. Activity 6. 1. I'm interested in item 52, but is it really warm? I need a really warm one. Item 53 is better for very cold weather. It's long, so it'll keep you warm. Well, that's true, but I don't like the style. 
It looks so loose and baggy. It's better that way. You can wear an extra sweater or two underneath. I guess I'll stay really warm that way. Two. I like item sixteen, but I don't like the buttons up the front. We have the same style without buttons. Look at item eighteen. Oh, that's really cute, and it has side pockets too. It's one of our most popular styles. Would you like to order it? Well, I really like it, but it looks so short. It's not too short. It's just a couple of inches above the knee. Okay, I guess it's longer than a mini, anyhow. I'll take it. Three. I have a question about item thirty-eight. Let's see, thirty-eight. Oh yes, did you want that with long sleeves or short sleeves? That's my question. I have a problem because my arms are so long. That's not a problem. You can order these with extra long sleeves. I can. Great. I'll take four of them with extra long sleeves and two with short sleeves for warm weather. Four. I'd like to order item twenty-three in red. Item twenty-three red. What size? Well, can you tell me if it's warm? Oh yes, it'll keep you quite warm in cold weather. Because where I'm going, it's very cold. Then you'd better order item twenty-four. It's a turtleneck. I guess you're right. A turtleneck is warmer than a V-neck. Unit fourteen, activity seven. One. A. The jeans cost twenty-five dollars. B. The price is fifty-two dollars. C. You'll spend fifty-eight dollars. Two. A. His shirt's too tight. B. His clothes fit well. C. His skirt is blue. Three. Spell your last name, please. A. Mary Wilson. B. Fifty-two Main Street. C. W I L S O N. Four. What do you think of this sweater? A. It's very nice. B. It's forty-five dollars. C. It's on page forty-five. Five. How much is this blue coat on page ten? It's one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Hmm, that's a lot. And the black one on page eleven? That one's less expensive. It's just eighty-five dollars. I like the blue coat more, but I think I'd better buy the less expensive one. Which coat will she buy? Six. Would you spell your first name for me, please, Susanna? Sure. It's S U S A N N A. S U S A N N A. Is that one N or two? Two, and there's no H at the end. How does she spell her name? Unit fifteen. Unit fifteen. Activity two. A. You're at the pool a lot, aren't you? Yep. I swim thirty lengths twice a week. That's how I stay in shape. B. You're looking very strong these days. I have a personal trainer now. He really helps me get a good workout. C. What's the matter with you? You look like you're ready to die. 
I'm so out of shape. I can't even jog one lap. D. This aerobics class is great. Yeah, but I always feel so sore by the end of it. E. How many laps do you run? About 20 a day. I'm in training for the marathon. F. Do you ever run outside? Never. I love using the jump rope inside. Unit 15. Activity 3. 1. Hi, Gina. Look, the weather's so bad today, I think we should cancel that walk. Why don't you come over here and we can use my treadmill? See you soon. Two. Gina, it's Jim. It's too hot to go jogging today. I just can't run laps in this weather. I'm going to the pool to swim lengths. Meet me there, okay? Don't forget to bring a towel. Three. Hey, Gina. Look, I'm getting off work early, and I thought I could get some lifting in. I have a new set of weights. Do you want to try them out? Call me. Four. Gina, aren't you back from that exercise class yet? What do you do there? Jump rope? I want to go for a jog before it gets dark. I was thinking of going to the running track and try out my new shoes. Will you join me? Five. Hi, Gina. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cancel that bike ride with you. My bike has a flat tire. But I still really need some exercise, so I'm going to stay home and use my stationary bike. I'll let you ride it, too, if you want to come over. Unit 15. Activity 4. Example. John's gone to the store. John's going to the store. Unit 15. Activity 4. Part 1. 1. He's gone to the track. 2. I'm going to class. 3. She's gone to the pool. 4. We're going to the gym. 5. He's going bike riding. 6. She's gone to the store. Unit 15, Activity 4, Part 2. 1. Have you seen Lee? He's gone to the track to run laps. He said he'd wait for me. When did he leave? Just a few minutes ago. You can catch up with him if you run. 2. What are your plans for this afternoon? I'm going to class. It's aerobics. Do you want to go with me? Are you nuts? All that jumping around? It makes me tired just thinking about it. Then you'd better stay here and rest. 3. Ask Elena if she wants to go fishing with us. She's busy. She's gone to the pool to swim lengths. Again? It seems like she's always swimming lengths. You know how shy she is. In the water, she doesn't have to talk to anyone. 4. What are you guys doing this weekend? We're going to the gym to work out. You do that every weekend, don't you? Usually. We work all week and work out on weekends. 5. 
I think I'll ask Jack to lift weights with me tomorrow. He can't. He's going bike riding with me. All afternoon? Maybe he can lift weights with me afterwards. I think he'll be too tired. Six. Where's Susan? She's gone to the store to buy a jump rope. What time did she leave? About an hour ago. She should be back soon. Unit 15. Activity 5. 1. You look terrible. What's the matter? I've been having a hard time sleeping. I'm so sorry. Have you tried sleeping pills? No. I don't like to take pills. Exercise might help. Walking is good. Or you could use my stationary bike. A walk sounds nice. Not too hard. I think I'll try walking. 2. I've been feeling so weak these days. How long has this been going on? Oh, for about a week. What do you think I should do? Lift weights. I can't do that. I'm too weak. I'm really out of shape. Maybe you should see a nutritionist. A nutritionist? Nah, I'll just take vitamin pills. Vitamins are cheaper. 3. My arms are killing me. They're so sore. Lifting weights a lot recently? Yep, too much. My trainer says I should take a break and try something else. Great. Come over and watch TV with me. I need to work out. Watching TV is not working out. You can walk over to my house. Walking is a good workout. I'll jog over. Jogging is a much better workout. Four. I haven't been able to train for the bike race. All this rainy weather, right? Yeah. I can't ride my bike in the rain. But I'll get weak if I don't practice more. Why not try a stationary bike? You mean like one of those things they have at the gym? Yes. I'm sure it'll help you stay in shape. You can use a stationary bike no matter what the weather. Well, I can try it. It has to be better than riding in the rain. Unit 15, Activity 6 1. Jane, wow, you've really lost weight. You noticed. 12 kilos in 6 months. In January, I weighed 90. Now it's June, and I weigh 78. How did you do it? The usual way. Eat less and exercise more. 2. I really need to gain weight. I weighed 78 kilos in January, and look at me now. How much did you lose? Like 9 kilos? Yep. I weigh 69 kilos now. 9 kilos in 6 months. But you looked like you were gaining for a while. Yes. I got up to 81 kilos in March, so I went on a diet. It looks like the diet worked better than you expected. 3. You look really different, Joe. Have you been working out? I'm on a special weight gain and exercise program. Feel my muscles. Wow, you're strong. What do you weigh now? 80 kilos. And in January, I only weighed 70. I've gained about two a month. Two kilos every month? Except May. I didn't gain anything then. I weighed 76 kilos in April and May. 4. Lee, you look great. How'd you lose all that weight? Easy. I go running at the track every morning and to aerobics class twice a week. That doesn't sound so easy. That's hard work. It was at first. I didn't lose any weight for two months. Then in March, I finally lost three kilos. You went from 68 to 65 after two months? Yes. And now, in June, I weigh 56. 5. I've been working out every day since January, but I haven't lost any weight. Well, you don't really need to lose weight. No, I'm just trying to build my strength. But I gained 5 kilos in March. Really? 
You don't look heavier. I'm not. I lost it all now. I'm my usual sixty-one kilos. You look great and strong. Six. Manuel, what happened to you? I thought you were losing weight on your diet. I was. I weighed seventy-five kilos in January, and I lost three kilos by February. So you weighed seventy-two. Uh huh. Then I lost two kilos in March and another kilo in April. I was down to sixty-nine. And you were skinny last month too. Yes, I lost two more kilos in May. But then I started eating ice cream and I gained back everything. Now I'm the same as I was in January. Unit fifteen, activity seven. One. A. She's jumping rope. B. She's tying a knot. C. She's full of hope. Two. A. He's walking up a hill. B. He's running on a treadmill. C. He's learning to talk. Three. Let's go to the track this afternoon. A. Yes, the train is on track four. B. His talk is after mine. C. No, I don't like running laps. Four. I'm going to join a gym to work out. A. I worked outside in the garden. B. You need a personal trainer. C. My friend Jim got a new job. Five. I've been feeling so tired lately. You should get more sleep. But I sleep a lot. Then you're just out of shape. Yeah, I guess I should just exercise more. What should he do? Six. Oh, my back is so sore. Is it from lifting weights? I think so. Those weights are really heavy. Swimming is good for a sore back. You should try it. I think I will. What will she do for her sore back? Unit sixteen. Unit sixteen. Activity two. A. Do you have any change? I'm like dying for candy, and this machine won't give change. Look, this one gives change. I think I'll get something to eat too. B. Wow! Look at all this mail I got. You're not supposed to read your email. You're supposed to be doing research on the internet. C. I love plays. I'm so glad we came to see this. I'll be in the school orchestra performance here next month. Will you come to see that too? D. I just want to wash my hands before my next class. They got dirty in the chemistry lab. Okay, I'll wait for you out here. E. What's going on? Why is everyone running outside? Is it a fire? I don't know, but let's get out of here. Here's the exit. F. I'm really tired from class. It's great to just sit down and relax. Yeah, this is a great place to chill out. Unit sixteen, activity three. Example. Listen, listened, walk, walked. Unit sixteen, activity three, part one. One. I played computer games in class. Two. Why didn't you call me yesterday? Three. 
I know I should have typed mine too. Four. It's great to see you. I really want to talk to you. Five. I really needed to work out in the gym after class. Six. Oh, I just studied in the library. Unit 16, Activity 3, Part 2. 1. Why are you in trouble? I played computer games in class. You played computer games? You can't do that. You'll fail the class if you keep that up. I know. I have to pay attention in class. I know. 2. Why didn't you call me yesterday? I was waiting by the phone all day. I'm sorry. I couldn't call. I couldn't find a phone. What do you mean you couldn't call? You have a cell phone, don't you? I used to have a cell phone. The teacher took it away because I tried to call you from class. 3. Why did you get a better grade than me on this assignment? Because I typed it. I know I should have typed mine too, but my computer isn't working. You could have used the computers in the computer lab. That's what I did. 4. It's great to see you. I really want to talk to you. Shh. We can't talk now. We're here to see the performance. But it hasn't started yet. We can talk till it begins. Quiet. It's beginning now. 5. You weren't at my soccer game yesterday, were you? Well, I really needed to work out in the gym after class. You wanted to work out instead of watching me play soccer? Does that surprise you? 6. What did you do after class? I couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, I just studied in the library. You studied in the library? The rest of us went to the soccer game. Lucky you, but I'm not doing well in class and I don't want to fail. Unit 16, Activity 4 1. Excuse me, can you tell me where the vending machines are? Sure. They're at the end of the hall, next to the front door. Next to the front door. Thanks. I hope they're working. 2. <sighs> Is the emergency exit this way? Yes. It's next to the computer lab at the end of the hall. What's the matter? I have to get out of here fast. The math teacher is giving a test, and I didn't study. 3. Is this the math classroom? Can't you see it's the computer lab? The math class is three doors down the hall. Three doors down. Oh, it's the one across from the front door. Sorry to bother you. 4. Have you seen Patty? Yes. She's right next door to the English class, doing experiments in the chemistry lab. Great. I'll go look for her as soon as I finish typing this assignment. 5. I'm so thirsty. So get a drink from the water fountain. It's just across the hall from the English class. I can't. I don't want the English teacher to see me. I haven't done my homework all week. Unit 16. Activity 5. Welcome, students. We would like to remind you of our school rules. An important rule for the health and safety of us all. No smoking. No smoking is allowed in any part of the building or anywhere on school property. This means the front steps and the parking lot. Cell phone use is not allowed in classrooms. You must turn off your phone and put it away before class. You may talk on the phone during your break, in the lounge, or outside on the front steps.
Vending machines are located in the student lounge. There are also some tables there. Eating is allowed at these tables. Eating is not allowed in the hall or in the classrooms. The chemistry lab is located on the second floor. You may do experiments in the lab only when a teacher is present. If the teacher is not there, you may not use the lab. If you want to chat with your friends during your break, please don't talk in the hall. You will disturb the classes in session. Please talk with your friends in the lounge. The emergency exit is next to the chemistry lab. Use it for emergencies only. Unit sixteen, activity six. One. Hey, Jane, are you coming to watch the tennis match this afternoon? Sorry, I can't. I have a student government meeting. Student government? I thought you were joining the chess club this semester. Oh, I do that too. No wonder we never see you after school. Two. So, Bob, I'll see you in the auditorium at three. The auditorium at three? What for? The play rehearsal. Hello. Oh, you're in the drama club, right? Oh yeah, the drama club. I forgot. And what about chess club? Computer? No, it's hard enough for me to remember to go to the play rehearsals. Three. Where's the student government meeting this afternoon? In the library, Martha. Like always, it starts at three thirty. Perfect. My computer class is over at a quarter after three, so I'll just make it to the meeting. I didn't know you were in the computer club too. No way. I'm just taking a computer class. That's all. Four. Hey, Carl. You gonna sit in front of that computer all day? I'm getting ready for my presentation to the computer club. Computer club? Is there such a club? I'm in the chess club too, you know, and I got interested in computer chess, so I decided to learn more about computers. Oh, <sighs> really interesting. Well, nice talking to you. Unit sixteen, activity seven. One. A. They're typing assignments. B. They're doing experiments. C. They're commuting to work. Two. A. They're cheating. B. They're chatting. C. They're sitting. Three. I'm really thirsty. A. No, there are more than thirty. B. There's a water fountain down the hall. C. No, it's Wednesday. Four. Where's the math class? A. It's not as easy as the English class. B. It's nicer than the English class. C. It's next to the English class. Five. Can we eat lunch here? Not here. You're not allowed to eat in the halls. Then let's go to the lounge. It's not allowed in the lounge either. Then we'll have to go outside. I know we can eat there. Where will they go to eat? Six. Is that the emergency exit across the hall? No, that's a closet. Then where's the emergency exit? Next to the computer lab. Do you know where that is? Yeah, it's two doors down from the lounge. Where is the emergency exit? Review four. Review four. Activity one.
Let me make sure I have your name correct. It's Joanne Smith. Joanne, J O A N N E. J O A N N A. No, E. The last letter is E, and Smith is spelled S M Y T H. That's a Y, not an I. Correct. No I. S M Y. T H, H is the last letter. First, I'd like to order a pair of white aerobics shoes. Aerobics shoes, fine. Just one pair? That's right, but I don't know what size. Size seven is usually too tight. Then, do you want size eight? That's the problem. Eight is too big. So, should I get too tight or too big? You should get size seven and a half. They'll probably fit just right. Seven and a half. That sounds good. Next, I want to get a green and blue soccer shirt for my sister. We have two styles: with pockets and without pockets. I like pockets. Is the shirt with pockets more expensive? Just a little. Without pockets, it's twenty-five dollars, and for just twenty-seven dollars. You can have it with pockets. Only two dollars more? Then I'll take the twenty-seven dollar shirt with pockets. Would you like to order two shirts, one for your sister and one for you? No, thank you. Just one shirt is enough. The green and blue one. I'd like to order one set of hand weights. Do you want the two thousand three hundred gram weights, or the three thousand seven hundred gram weights? Well, I started with just four hundred and fifty-four gram weights, but now I'm using the one thousand four hundred gram weights. Then you probably want the two thousand and three hundred gram weights now. Yes, I do. Do they come in different colors? I'm sorry, they don't. Now the price for the twenty-three hundred gram weights is ten dollars and fifty cents. Review four. Activity two. One. Whether your computer is at home, office, or school, the Computer Stuff Company has all the computer supplies you'll need. Just log on to www.compstuff.com to browse through our hardware and software catalogs. We have special discounts for school computer labs and after-school computer clubs. Become a member of our frequent buyers club and get 15% off your first purchase. That's www.compstuff.com. It's just a click away. Two. Do you work out at home, at school, at the gym? Wherever you exercise, you know it's important to follow a regular program, and Jumping Gym has all the equipment you need to do that. You can visit us online at www.jumpinggym.com to see everything we have to offer, from treadmills to jump ropes. We have exercise clothes too. It's all at www.jumpinggym.com. Three. Don't waste your money on unnecessary exercise equipment. Treadmills and jump ropes won't get you in shape. You need to follow a regular exercise program that fits your lifestyle. At Home Gym, we offer personalized exercise programs. Log on to our website at www.homegym.com. Type in your information, and we will develop an exercise plan just for you. You can work out at home, at school, at the office, wherever you want, because www.homegym.com offers programs that don't require the use of heavy, expensive equipment. Check us out today. Four. Calling all computer clubs! 
log on to www.compclub.com. Why limit your club to just your school? At www.compclub.com, you can be in touch with computer clubs around the world, participate in our chat rooms and online discussions, and read member reviews of computer hardware and software. Visit us and become a member of our computer club today. Five. Everybody wants to be an actor or actress. With your own video camera, you can become one. The Play Place offers special discounts on video cameras and digital cameras to school drama clubs and classes. Details are available at our website at www.playplace.com. You can put that next school play on video, or write and star in your own movie with the great deals we have on video cameras at the Play Place. Visit us online today. Review four, activity three. One. A. He's running around the track. B. He's standing on the train track. C. He's swimming lengths in the pool. Two. A. He's saying goodbye. B. He's getting a snack. C. He's repairing the machine. Three. A. She's wearing a tight shirt. B. She's wearing a long skirt. C. She's wearing long sleeves. Four. A. The TV costs three hundred and sixty dollars. B. It has a thirteen-inch screen. C. The sale ends March the twenty-sixth. Five. I've been gaining weight. A. I don't like to wait. B. You should go this way. C. Why don't you go on a diet? Six. What's the matter with your sweater? A. It's the right shoe. B. It has a hole. C. It better. Seven. Where's the English class? A. It's at nine o'clock. B. It's the easiest class. C. It's next to the math class. Eight. What did you order? A. May I help you? B. About forty-five dollars. C. A new cell phone. Nine. I'm so thirsty. Get a soda or some tea from the vending machine. I'm all out of change. Well, then there's a water fountain across the hall. Great, I'll go there. What will she drink? Ten. What are you searching the internet for? Train schedules? Yeah. This site has train schedules for the whole country. I thought you were going to take the plane. The train is cheaper and, for a short trip, almost as fast. And it takes you to the center of the city. What information does the website have? End of CD three.